All right, and what is the middle square, ladies and gentlemen? First match of the day. Middle square is remembrance with dagger Ooh, claws or fists only. Okay. That's gonna be a rush. That's gonna be a rush. Yeah. Hundred percent. So with that square, um, what is the best check for that one? So, um, there's a couple different angles. You can either go straight to Stormvale, go for the market kill, and then after Gostock, you go into the like side area, I guess is what you could call it, the side castle mm -hmm. area. Um, and then from there, there's a little uh, back corner with a soldier there. There's a, there's a, a, a claw weapon normally there. Um, okay. So that's a weapon check. Otherwise, if you want to, which is also not a bad idea necessarily, is actually just go straight to round table, drop down where Mad Tongue Albrich is. Uh, mm. There's actually uh, the Cypher Pata. That's also a fist weapon. So you can technically just drop down, okay. go into that room, grab it, die to Mad Tongue Albrich, and then you already have your weapon, which is a little bit of a faster check, but you are a little bit locked into that. Uh, and you also you lose all your money as well. Uh, so okay. if you have low money, honestly, drop down and do that. That check is probably way faster than the Gostock one. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, what else do we have that might work with either of those? We do have Sorcery Only Remembrance Boss. Um, so I wonder if anyone would prioritize that. Grafted Scion. Are we going to see a Grafted Scion? We haven't seen Has it a there... single time. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet, right? Okay, that used to be really fun to, to watch. That was a really tense race all the time. Yep. Um, so we'll see. I feel like Aggie might go for it, but I kind of feel like also the players kind of stop doing it because they feel like it's not worth it if you fail. I don't know. It's a it's a bit of a weird trade-off of like, okay, you know, if I go for this, let, like say, let's say my weapon is less optimal. It's not Uchi Katana, right? So I'm not going to be mm -hmm. able to do this in like 20 seconds. I, sometimes this fight might take one to two minutes. That's one to two minutes that the other player has a head start on. Right. Um, the yeah. other thing is, though, is that you do get 3,200 runes for doing the fight. Uh, plus, you also get a weapon check on top of that, which is, I think, a straight sword. So it's not necessarily the worst. If your RNG is in your favor, you get money, you get a square, in this case, an inner corner square, which is pretty powerful. And also you get a weapon check of possibly a good straight sword that you can use for the early game. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty pro-grafted Scion early yeah. on uh, for matches, if you have a weapon available for it. But mm -hmm. I understand that players are going to skip it because it is a little intimidating to be like, okay, like if I waste too much time, I'm throwing basically the whole early game out the window yeah. because I'm going to have torrent uh, a lot less. Uh, I'm going to have right. you know, uh, a lot less progress on the map and everything. So it is a bit scary. Yeah. Right. So we do see the ROB here, which Zoodle chose. Yeah. Um, I don't have too much experience with that weapon. Um, I know it was nerfed though recently, or like not recently, but it was nerfed, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was like it was like three patches, four patches ago. Okay, they, yeah. they they nerfed the range and some of the the, the damage, but it's still it's all right. It's not great, not my favorite. Yeah, okay. Um, but it looks like that Zoodle actually went with that class because of the the Flame Monk Mace, which is uh, something you can wield right away. It has a very interesting charge R2 as well, by the way. The guy stomps his foot twice and then just thrusts forward. Okay, cool. Like a monkey. Um, And this weapon that Aggie's using, Lucerne. what can you tell me about that one? Yeah, that's the probably the worst halberd, but it is still, okay. uh, it is still a halberd. <laughs> uh, Lucerne being... Uh, I think you get that normally at the the check that people do for um, where the uh, Lyurnia Road is for that other Halberd check. They, they do that a lot next to the teleporter. For we got Dragon Halberd there like three or four times. That's right. where Lucerne normally yeah. spawns. Um, okay. But Lucerne has Charge Forth on it, which is really good for NPC invaders uh, and NPC fights. And we do okay. have that on the board. The reason yeah, why is. So no, sorry, sorry, continue. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, the reason why is because of the charge fourth ability, because NPCs don't really react to the to the Ash of War as much. Okay. You can just shove them off of, like, ledges. You can shove them around. Uh, they they make the fight a lot easier for NPCs um, okay. than, uh, yeah, like, fighting anything else. Okay, so I wonder if they're going to go for the <clears throat> round table fist check that you had mentioned because the uh, NPC invaders on the board. Because that guy at the round table will count for that, right? Yeah, yeah, he could definitely go okay. for Mad Tongue Elbridge early if you really wanted to with yeah. the uh, the Lucerne. The only thing with Mad Tongue Elbridge compared to the other NPC invaders is that he is actually really strong. 
Um, right. Because you have like you have, for example, we can actually do this pretty early right now if you really want to. Uh, quick, quick little, uh, quick little map time here. Um, okay. So, wow, we're spoiled. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of early map time. Yeah. So the thing is, like, you have Henricus right here at the Colosseum, right, and then okay. you have uh, Anastasia over here at the church, and then mm -hmm. you have Narius. All three of yep. these are easier than Mad Tongue Albrecht. Mad Tongue yes. Albrecht, you can access pretty quickly and stuff, but he's got like the the PVP meta build uh, uh -huh. of Frost and Bleed combined. Uh, yeah. And it's, he's really fast, and he's got a decent amount of health. So going with him first or going with him early, early on is a little scary, but you could definitely right. pull it off. Um, but I would go for those three instead. Yeah, um, I agree with you. It just, I guess, because if they wanted to do that fish check, they could. But also, they they could also do the Narius check, which Aggie kind of looks like he's going towards... Yeah, maybe they're both yeah. going towards the uh, the the the, the Agile North Lake Grace, um, and they, they, yeah. then they might actually just go straight for Nerys. It's, it's pretty close by. It can just drop yeah. down. Um, it depends. You have a lot of options here. Here's the thing: like, mm -hmm. if you go for Center Square, go for the Dagger Claws and Fist Check, which is Nerys too, actually. In that case, um, or do you maybe start building something else? Go for Celia and get the rot dog for spirit ashes only. Yeah. Um, and then go for Dectus because Dectus is also on the board, you know? Yeah, Dectus is on the board. And you like to say that Aggie always prioritizes Dectus, which he does. But I think that last, that he had a game recently where that went wrong for him <clears> or like it cost him time or something. Yeah. Um, I'm curious if he'll go for it again. It looks like he is. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, from the looks of it, anyways, because they're both kind of going past Nightscaf here, and then there's going to be that graveyard. Mm. So they're both pretty much taking the same route as Zoodle yeah. having a little bit of a head start, uh, grabbing that yeah. Sombra one. Nice. Yeah. It's always a. Uh, it's always fun to see players on the same path, and just seeing which one is ahead, even if they're at the same time. Yeah. Um, I like to see that at the beginning. I remember when I used to play. Uh, I would always be behind, literally, by, like by the time you get to Grafted Scion for some reason because like people know things i don't so it's always cool to see like little ways people have to catch up or be faster yeah exactly but you can yeah. see they're both literally right next to each other zoodle being a little bit ahead aggie mm -hmm. doing an interesting jump here i guess just getting more air time to try and get towards the fort he does have a better angle than zoodle does i think zoodle is going for that grace outside of fort height though and i think aggie might just be skipping that just to make sure that he gets there first yeah. Oh, never mind. Um, do we have a lot of Altus stuff on this board here? If Dectus will be worth, we do have Morgoth. We have Wormface. We have the Shackles. We have Morgoth's Great Rune. Um, yeah, we got RLC. Bell Bearings. Uh, Bell Bearings. Um, we got a, we got a, we got a decent amount. We got yeah, we got Wormface yeah. as you said. We got we have quite a few things. Somber Nine. Um, yeah. Which isn't technically Altus, but it does promote Altus. Okay. Um, because you can go through the Virgin Abductor duo fight instead. Right. Um. Okay. So here, Zoodle is definitely a little bit ahead. Yep. I guess this will just depend on how they get to the second half. If we will take it. Um, because yeah, it's pretty close. Or if someone dies or something like that. This is that. where it comes down to Celia skip, pretty much. Who can do oh, Celia yeah. skip better? Because that's gonna be, I think, the indicator on, you know, who gets there first. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Zoodle does have first step grace. Aggie doesn't. So mm -hmm. this might actually cost Aggie, because Zoodle's gonna be closer to that, uh, Celia town chest, which he's going for right yeah. now. And Aggie's going there as well, but he has a different angle. So skipping... Uh, that first step grace might actually cost him the square here if he doesn't have a good Celia town skip. Yeah, we'll see whose branch is greased up today. Okay, Aggie's just pivoting off of it. He, I think he's going for a dagger check here instead. I think he's going for Narius. This is a this is a great okay. move. That for, is a I, great move. That is a great move. I think he's like, okay, you know what? I didn't have first grace yeah. uh, or a first step. If I didn't have that and Zoodle did, he's going to make that there before I do. I'm just going to go for NPC invaders instead and go for that dagger stuff. Yeah, really smart move. That's a great move. I think maybe Aggie thinks, okay, Zoodle knows that I like to go for that, and he's probably going to go for that, and then a little bit of a fake-out situation or whatever, um, and just save himself some time. 
he did get hit eggy got hit in the in fort height by like an explosion or something yeah I got so maybe he also figured that was just enough to put him behind yeah yeah he's not going for Nerys though in this case is he just going straight for physic instead i'm not sure exactly what he's doing here um not yeah, too I guess sure see. i mean maybe... you can hmm. you can get to the the dectus four like by the physic by going gronk's way and then that way but that's like super long surely he wouldn't do that right no no i mean he's done silly town skip many many times right. i don't think it's necessarily his thought process he might be going for physic here and then having the graces for the different invaders because you do have anastasia mm -hmm. right next to third church of america yes, anyways that's true yeah um, so he might just be planning around that. Uh, Zoodle here grabbing Rot Dog, Dog with a Rot in Salia Town, nice. and okay. going straight for Salia Town skip. Um, I wonder if Zoodle is considering the third column because the Ashes, the Dectus Medallion, uh, the Explosive Physic isn't super on the way, but that's kind of near some Everjails. Column three is not looking so bad if that's what he chooses. <clears throat> Very nice. But Eggie, I think Eggie would probably take the middle square first if that's what he's doing. I yeah, I would definitely be prioritizing that. I think he'll have both already done it. Zoodle slipping off the rocks here. Uh -oh. I have a little bit of a hard time here on that second part. You just have to say good job to him, man. Eh? Well, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> there we go. That, Zoodle. But yeah, it looks like Aggie is actually going the long way for Dactus. I'm surprised. Maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable with Celia Townsend yeah, today. Maybe. I think that maybe he uh, he knows that Zoodle and some of the current, like the newer Bingo Brawlers players who are in season one, they I feel like they've just been practicing the new skips maybe a little bit more and feel a little more confident with it. So maybe Aggie was just like, I'm just gonna go this way. Um, if he's gonna do the nightcap, will that count as a boss that rides on a horse? That that would count. Maybe. So I think I think he's kind of yeah. uh, actually giving up the deck to square, to be honest, in this yeah, case. I think so. And he's I think just going, so. you know what? I'm still going for deck this because I need that for later on in the game. But I'm going to go and get some money. I'm going to get some 42,000 yeah. runes. I'm going to try and get uh, a nice calf cheese, uh, you know, get some extra cash on top of that and some extra progress. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I might not get this square, but I'll still have it. And Zulu might not even know that I have deck this, but yeah. I'll also have uh, extra progress on top of that. Yeah, honestly, not a bad strat because there was a couple games ago where Aggie was playing against someone and he had a lot of board presence and the person who was playing against didn't have board presence. And so Aggie just didn't know anything and then lost. It was against Bree, I think. Um, mm. Yeah. And so, yeah. It was like, it was a tie. Yeah. yeah. I think. The no, Bree Bushy Aggie match? Lost. No, no, the Aggie Bree match. Oh, my bad. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So there is some power in. Uh, in not having some squares yeah but he did just switch off that so maybe he wasn't expecting it for some I th reason i think he is expecting i think he kind of expected it because like if you go the long way and you know that there's nothing else marked on the board oh nice mm -hmm. rng here for aggie by the way fantastic mm -hmm. first try on that nice calf cheese yeah. um if you if you go the long way you most likely will not get that square uh and i think right, he knows right. that too so for him it was like okay he might get the uh, he might get deck to square here I and mean, if he does I can just go ahead and just switch around and go straight for knight's cap yeah. right afterwards and that's True. exactly what he did has money now he's got forty five thousand Zoodle has zero money but has Dectus. both going for mm -hmm. the greatsword check here and okay Ordoris is greatsword not a bad weapon at all I've definitely used this in bingo high poise damage but now he could actually go ahead and force middle square because he can go ahead and level up. He can then kill Margaret faster, get into Stormvale, get to Godric uh, with all that money. Like, that money actually is, is a huge time saver for him. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, and he does have that grace near that nightcap if he does end up going for the Dectus Medallion, which he probably will for the Altus Axis eventually, but just not a huge priority right now, so... Yeah. So that's fine. I'll see. We'll see uh, what Zoodle does next here because he doesn't have any money. Uh, he could still go for Margaret in this case because the Flame Monk Mace is pretty good. Um, mm. it, it feels a little weird, but it's a, it's a pretty good weapon. Um, he could definitely go and just kind of force his way through Stormvale with that, do the uh, Fist Weapon check uh, after Gostok. But it looks like he's actually going to Liurnia. 
they're both not forcing the center square. This is really interesting. I feel mm -hmm. like the center square is actually pretty rushable, but both of them just kind of ignoring it. Uh, so Aki is getting the strength tier here. Okay. Yeah. And okay, he he did grab that physic. Yeah, he did. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so what are the requirements on that great sword? Uh, I believe it's twenty fifteen twenty, but it might be a little bit off on that. Uh, it is a very strong faith weapon. Uh, so twenty strength, fifteen dex, and then twenty faith. Uh, but this is a guesstimation. I'm not too sure on that. But you do have to have a good amount of faith to wield it. Uh, mm -hmm. and it has a really strong uh, uh weapon art, which is like an aftershock type of okay. weapon art that it does around. I want to say sixty poise. Uh, 60, 65 poise oh, damage. Wow, okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. It, you can instantly stun uh, duelists, anything that's got 40 poise. Uh, for Margaret, it takes one and a half of that. Okay. Uh, so it's it's really, really good to getting a bunch of reposts off, which for 1.10 is a lot. For 1.10, okay. repose damage being buffed, uh, it helps a lot getting through a bunch of boss fights. Okay, I'm curious that if it, if it is 20 strength, that should be pretty easy to, to just two hand right so i'm curious why he would go through the effort of uh, getting that unless the class that he chose just has really really low strength that i just didn't notice um, um it might be the stat line but also it just might just be comfort you know it, it, even if okay. you need only two hands to wield it right away having a strength tier for bonus damage 10 extra levels is a lot of you know bonus uh -huh. damage for sure just to make true, fights true. faster and he has physic already because he went the long way zoodle doesn't have a right. physic flask so yeah, in this case yeah. aggie does have more prep and has a little bit more utility to his disposal. Uh huh. Um. Okay, so Zoodle is. What do you think Zoodle is headed towards right now? A helper check. It seems like he's gonna helper go for that check. helper check that I was mentioning, where you get Lucerne at. He's going, I think, yep. for that right away. Uh, and I think they might be both racing for Red Wolf in this case. Oh, yeah. It's really weird. I don't understand why they're both kind of just leaving that center square open. They could... <laughs> They could both go for it. They could both do the the fist weapon check. I think this is a a bit of a a, a game of um, chicken in this case, where yeah, I think so. where they're like, okay, there is sorcery only on the board. There is dagger claws or fists only on the board. You pick. I'll go and prep, and they're both doing the same thing. So they're both like, yeah. okay, you know, what? you pick whichever one you want, and I'll figure out whichever one I want afterwards, or I'll, I'll just do whatever yeah. you know is left over. Um, yeah. So. And I think it's actually, and, this is a good move by Aggie, by the way. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off there. That's okay. Uh, just throwing out here that in row five and currently column three, if Zoodle picks one or the other, Aggie knows he can block the other one right away. Uh -huh. Because if Zoodle goes for the Dagger Cluster Fists only, he's already progressed in column three. If he goes mm -hmm. for Sorcery only, he's progressing row five. So, Zo so then Aggie knows, okay, uh, I can just block that. And then I also have kind of free dibs on the next one and also block the other one yeah. on top of that if that makes sense um, right so yeah um yeah 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 see this is the fun part about like the mind games and stuff of bingo they're like mm -hmm. it's just you know like you said it's a game of chicken and zoodle doesn't know what aggie's doing i i assume that zoodle thinks that he blocked aggie's dectus medallion Mm -hmm. um but also you know when no one's on the board or like when your opponent doesn't have anything on the board you you're like they could be doing anything and i have no idea like sometimes your opponent will have nothing on the board and then just be like like square 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 you know if they've yeah. just spent all the time prepping you have no idea um which is great i i genuinely think aggie is doing that on purpose or like maybe not on purpose but i think that he appreciates that because of like how his experiences in the past yeah. Um so yeah, I think it's I think this could this is gonna be a really cool game. <laughs> this is really exciting. Yeah, it looks like that uh, uh Zoodle actually did get the uh, spinning strikes uh Banished Knights Halberd, by the way, which does start at plus eight. So he really has a pretty strong weapon, kind of uh negates the whole money that uh Aggie has in this case, but it isn't somber, which does help Aggie in the uh in, in the situation where he can you know, he's already hovering the Ordovus Great Sword, so he is going to be using it, I, I think, for the rest of the match. Mm -hmm. But once he gets that to plus four, plus five, he definitely outdamages the uh, Banished Knight's Halberd. So it's a bit of a, a band-aid, I guess you could say, is the Banished Knight's Halberd for Zoodle, where he can kind of work with that uh, up until, like, mid-game, and then he will have to move to something else to at least keep that momentum going. Otherwise, he'll start losing uh, speed uh, with uh, mm -hmm. a lesser, you know, weapon. 
Um, okay. I think we are a little bit behind on Aggie stream just because it was loading. Oh, are we? Okay, hold on. Let me refresh we real are a quick. Behind, yeah. I did not uh, see that. My bad. Uh, there we go. Cool. Hopefully cool, that's. Cool. Yeah, that looks like that looks like a little more. Um. It looks a little more. <laughs> a little. It looks a little faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. I don't know. Nah, nah it's all good. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Yeah. So, what else did you highlight here? The Red Wolf. So, the Red Wolf is fun because, like, because it's such an easy boss, or, like, it's such an easy boss, you don't really practice it. It's probably different at this point in the league, but, like, at in early times of the league, like, people kind of struggled sometimes because you don't really put that much effort into it because it's so easy or early whatever. On. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then, so then if you try and fight him with low stats, then sometimes <laughs> you just one-shots you and just, like bullet hells you sometimes you know yeah um so getting overconfident with red wolf can be scary but i mean zoodle's health is looking okay and if there's the damage then you're okay typically but um yeah red wolf races can sometimes be a little scarier than they sound yeah it looks like that um aggie's going for the upgrades here did grab uh eg eg grace and is going straight to round table and I think I think honestly this is a good idea because you do have Ordova's great sword, great weapon. But how about just do a quick weapon check at round table? You have to go there anyways. Check mm -hmm. the eight weapon, you know, eight weapon slots there. Maybe you do find something better. Maybe there is an Alabaster's Lord Sword. Maybe there is a Dragon Halberd. Never mind. He's just leveling right away. Uh, all that <laughs> is out the window. Uh, but you know, like that would that would have been at least you know a good idea. You have all the somber stones. Let me just check real quick just to make sure that there isn't anything right. better. But if he's comfortable with this weapon, that's cool too. Um, and yeah, Zoodle running straight to that Red Wolf right away with that plus eight, which I do think will make yeah. that fight pretty quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, Aggie looks like he's headed there, but I think Zoodle will beat it fast enough for Aggie to switch off of it. Um, yeah. Because there's no other reason to. I guess for the money, right? But there's no memory stones on the board, is there? Uh, um, no. no. No no memory stones. Which is it's still so weird to me that they both chose Lyurna right away in Red Wolf. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny that they haven't done Margit yet. Yeah, they I, honestly even like right now, Aggie could go for a Grafted Sign if he really wants to. That is a corner square compared to Red Wolf, which is just a a line square. Uh, you know, not as powerful. But they, yeah, they're both going for it in this case. Yeah. Uh, with Zuda having wonder, a head start. I wonder if it if either of them are like trying to open this for the remembrance with x weapon because there's two of those on the board but mm. like i don't know because you don't really want to do renala with sorcery right so maybe they preferably not <laughs> yeah but yeah, I, that's yeah. A, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, doing sorcery only on Godric and then having Renala as an option for dagger claws or fists only because it is a lot easier. Mm. Uh, definitely is you know not a bad idea. It does. It is a very risky play though because what if you do all this prep for Renala and then all of a sudden the other player already has uh, dagger claws or fists only on Godric? Ooh. Then you wasted all that time. Uh, yeah, Zoodle. Uh, Zoodle died. Getting a case of rabies. Yeah, is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's magical rabies. You know uh, what? I was actually thinking in my head, I was about to say when you were finished that this is a very clean fight from Zoodle, and I'm glad that I didn't because now <laughs> it's not a Casper curse. <laughs> and it happens sometimes. Sometimes you just feel confident in the players, like, hey, you know what? Yeah. And they got this easy in the back, and then they just instantly mm -hmm. die. I'm like, okay, yeah. Um. So, a like, Aggie still might not get this unless Zoodle dies. Uh, what's Aki's damage like? Can he like just like one shot him? Otherwise, he's not gonna get the square. I don't. Think. I don't. I don't know. It depends on if Zoodle chokes on this because he does mm. have that plus eight, but he doesn't have a lot. Of, as we can see, like those R ones aren't doing that much damage. So if Aggie can drink the strength tier here and get yeah, some, uh, I think this might be a plus four. So I do think he might be able to actually snag this away from oh, Zoodle. No. No, the jump, dude. It's like it's the swag jump on that guy, but like I think because he was on the steps. It, <laughs> oh, it... So wait, Aggie dies, oh, but no. it freezes the whole stream. What the hell just happened? Let me oh, let no. me. Re... What? <laughs> okay. Yo. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what we were talking about earlier. Red Wolf sounds like fun and easy until you died to him because of magic and stairs, right? And yeah. jumps. <laughs> this is um, getting interesting. Okay, all right. So Zoodle, yeah, he needs to not die again. But to be honest, Aggie could die again. Dude, I'm pretty sure Aggie gets one shot because Zoodle is, is getting almost one shot. Yeah, they both have similar health. He did uh, mm -hmm. level his health a little bit, but I'm not sure if that's going to make a huge difference. When it comes to armor, yeah. they both have very flimsy armor, not uh, mm -hmm. you know, not something that's super resistant, especially to magic yeah. in this case. Um, okay, Aggie's camera kind of freaking out there for a second. Nice, Zoodle getting nice a lot of damage camera. in, though. Uh, okay, so not that much damage from Aggie's yeah. weapon as well. I don't think he's upgraded it yet, but he is catching up here, getting some good RNG. Another yeah. R1 here. Zoodle getting some jumping R2s in. Might be close to a stagger yeah. if he can keep up those damages. Uh, he's got to be careful. Oh, almost too greedy there. Nice rolls, though, here from Zoodle. Does get another jumping R2 off and another R1. That does give him the square nice. in this case. Yeah, nice kill. Aggie does lose it. That death did matter. Yeah, So close. So close. Well, he'll probably finish it off just because he's already close. And yeah, sucks to suck on that one, I guess. But uh, what do you think he's going to next? So Zuda looks like he's going to get the imbued keys. Can you, uh, when we go into a, a, a post-game match, can you uh, tell that to the uh, the player that loses? You know, uh, sucks to suck. No, <laughs> no, no, it just sounded funny. Sorry. I'm just messing no, with you. I didn't mean I'm that. <laughs> Hey, you know what, guys? Nice. Just sucks to suck. You know, week seven. It does suck to suck. No, no, it does. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing. It's all no. good. Peggy, uh <laughs> if you're watching this in the vod, I didn't mean it like that. That <laughs> uh, makes me look bad. <laughs> That's going to be tough here, though, for, for Aggie to kind of bring it back. A spinning, uh, spinning strikes here does do a lot of work. But like I mentioned, this weapon is going to fall off at some point. So I think if, if Aggie just goes around and goes for those corner squares, I, th I think it'll be fine. But Zoodle does have a strong lead here on 2-0, having a lot of momentum. And he could easily go for that center square still. Both yeah, could. still doesn't know what Aggie is doing, though. Like, I mean, he sniped him twice but he doesn't know that <laughs> yeah yeah eggy could be cooking up something crazy for all zoodle knows as uh, people have mentioned in other bingo practice matches when they haven't uh when they haven't seen someone mark a square the current thing is uh did they fall asleep uh did they start Mom. a roth ira yeah. uh, i think they're taking their kids to college uh oh, okay yeah all types of uh different ways to uh you know make it seem like they're not playing the game when in reality they're possibly cooking um, right, yes, of course. So uh, um, we'll see. Aggie is going explosive physic to block column one, which is a good move. I think it's fast, and Zoodle is probably not going for that, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which he's not, but obviously Aggie doesn't know that for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a bad move at all. I mean, it's probably the easiest thing here. I am curious, though, that um, none of them are going for that middle square. Yeah, I, I don't. I really am curious. Uh, definitely, when we're going to ask that when we get into the post game interviews here as to why both of them kind of avoided uh, that middle square. But I, th I think I kind of mentioned it before with the whole like they want to see who goes for it first kind of thing. But I don't feel like that tactic is necessarily always the best because it is still center square. If this was maybe like a corner square, I would kind of understand it. But this is center we're talking about. It has it has four lines you can work off. It, it's it's a huge presence type of square. It gives you a lot of money. It just seems very odd to, like, leave it out for so long. Yeah, um, maybe it was too juicy that neither of them, they all thought it was, like, bait. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I mean, probably. There's so many mind games in this season that they're just like, no, it's too good. There's no way. Aggie going for balls here. Gets that instant stagger. As I mentioned, that's a lot of poise damage on that sucker. Goes for one Ash of War, knocks balls to the ground here. Also going, I'm assuming, for the Physic Flask up uh, explosion because he did kill that Urchery Avatar. Is there six bosses in the urn yet, or why is he doing this boss specifically? No balls incident. Yeah, why is he doing? Well, why is he doing balls? I mean, because it's an ever jail, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. ever jails. No, you're right. You're right. You're completely right. I did not even see that square. Any focus in the chat, dude? <laughs> Am I the lead commentator here? Probably not. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Shambles. Here we go. 
All right, here we go. Yeah, drinking the flask and boom. There we go. Nice. Let's go. That that was really clean. Very good choice on that. Um, yeah. That and was... Zoodle is now thinking. Aggie was prepping that square the entire time. Nice. Yeah, that's a that's definitely a little bit of an odd thing to like be 27 minutes into a match and just be like yeah. explosive. That's that's all <laughs> I get to see after 27 yeah. minutes. Aggie um, just really, really wanted to get the explosives. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's good here for Aggie is that he did that. Uh, making uh, Zoodle think that he used that on Bofa because Bofa is the most uh, common boss for this square. Uh, right. But in this case, he used it on balls, which means he could still do technically do spare to ashes only on Bofa. Yeah. yeah. So you can do both. Yeah. So so Zoodle is going for Grafted Scion here. Um, which is where is that on the board? That's okay. That's row four, which. I mean, it's looking kind of nice for him. At six bosses on this plateau kind of sounds like a lot, but honestly, it can be really, really fast. Um, I think at least if you just prioritize the like weak bosses and if you have the proper health and damage and if you just relatively know the fights, yeah, I think that that square is not as bad as it seems. If you like, if you avoid Morgoth and DTS and all those guys, unless he is going for it, but. Uh, Zoodle um, does, does grab the uh, abused sword keys mm -hmm. here, by the way, and going straight for Grafted Scions. Zoodle having insane momentum right now. Um, right. Doing, going for that nice combo of, oh, my last imbued sword key is at the Tower of Belfries. And by the way, the teleported to Grafted Scion is at the Tower of Belfries. Uh, yeah. Really helps out. Nice yeah, fight here by Aggie, nice. though, too. Yeah, so Aggie doesn't look too concerned with what Zoodle is doing. I mean... They're kind of just doing their own thing now. So, yeah, I guess maybe majority is how this game's going to end. Um, Potentially. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we do have a lot of late game stuff that they could possibly mm -hmm. race each other against. We have Shackles, Morgoth's Great Rune, level 60, Somber 9, um, you know, Altus bosses. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of stuff here that would be very interesting to watch. The Morgoth, Morgoth's Great Rune combo is definitely there. <gasps> so, Oh, no. Rip. Zoodle dies to Grafted Scion here. This is the thing. You have you have maybe a good weapon, but, man, you don't have any health. This is not looking mm -hmm. too good for Zoodle. I don't think he even grabbed the Grace, which means he's all the way back no, at Leonia Lakes. <laughs> this, is, this is really, really bad because oh, no. huge time sink. This is where you always grab the Grace because Grafted Scion can pull something out of uh, nowhere and just yeah. destroy you. And that beetle just throwing salt in the wounds, just landing on Zoodle's head there. Dude, I'm curious why he wouldn't get that grace. I feel like a grace like that, you kind of should get that grace, right? Yeah. Oh, it's like if you, sometimes you're worried that you're racing and that grace costs right. you the, you know, the whole race. Right. Yeah. It gets scary. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. In this case um, here though, uh Aggie now currently on market last week having uh a little bit of a hard time with this boss, but he did say he practiced it and uh we'll see how that works out today. Looks like a great fight, though. Nice stun. Nice. There's that repose damage, too. Very... Oof. That 110 repose damage is so nice to see. I, I'm actually mm -hmm. really glad that they buffed repose damage. Yeah. It's definitely very rewarding. Nice stun again. Very... Dude, great swords. Shoutouts to you. Nice. Nice clean fight. Great swords are great. From Aggie there. Great swords are great. Uh huh. They sure are. <laughs> they're also swords. <laughs> yeah, they're also swords. Um, okay, cool. GG. So Aggie does not have a dagger. And he does have sorcery from balls? Question mark? I don't know. Well, he, like I said, he can go for that dagger check, though, that I mentioned past Gostock. If you go to the left yes, here and true. go through the castle, he can go for that check if he really wants to. We're going to be opening the gates here. Um, and I maybe go for that check. I'm not too sure. Zoodle going for a <laughs> take like two on Grafted here. Yeah. I, well, Aggie definitely is expecting Grafted Scion, I think, now because of the imbued sword key. I feel like those two are together. Like, yeah. Do not do that. Um, so Aggie looks like he's chilling, if you ask me. <laughs> but here's the other thing, though, too, is uh, a lot of players like to sit on squares. So Aggie could definitely mm -hmm. also assume just like, hey, Zoodle has three uh, imbued sword keys. He's probably just sitting on Grafted Sign. He's not going for it right away. He could go for anything else if he really wants to. 
Um, yeah. And he'll still have priority on that whole boss fight, which right. is uh, completely true. But Zudo does uh, want to go ahead and commit to that square, which I think is a good idea in this case because he does open up that diagonal um, that is not too bad to go after, um, but also just getting extra presence on the board. Mm -hmm. Here's yeah, that fist yeah. check. Bloodhound Claws. Okay. What do we think about that one? I'm really not good. Familiar with it? Really, yeah. really good. Really, Is really. It bleed? It's, it's got bleed. It's got bloodhound okay. dash on it. Uh, it's it's a Ooh. great weapon. It's like bloodhound fang, but baby version. Uh, it's like. No, it's it's like uh, just like bloodhound step that you get from Knight's Calf that you can put on like any weapon. Oh. But it's the it's the actual weapon that has the Ash of War on it naturally. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, That's so, not bad. Yeah, the Bloodhound Knight has both weapons. It has the fang and the claws. And so, like, whenever you fight against Bloodhound Knights, for example, they dash around like that. That's pretty much what that weapon is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there's Zuda with the Grafted Scion. Nice. Second time's the charm. I'm surprised it didn't grab the uh, Magic Greases uh, prior to Red Wolf. Those, that would have actually probably helped a lot in that fight, uh, to be honest. But, um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so what are they doing now? Small shield check here, potentially from Zoodle. And looks like Aggie is going for an Everjail. He's, I think he's trying to finish Everjails here first. Yeah. He killed Margit, and then just ha is leaving Godric still open at this point. Um, and finishes Everjails first to block that row one. Because right now, Aggie is behind. So I think going for blocks right now isn't the worst idea. Um, yeah. However, I also think that if you are behind and center square is open and you can go for center square, go for center yeah. square because it will give you a lot of presence on the board itself. Yeah, he has a good weapon for it. I want, Are the stats weird for it? Like, why wouldn't he prioritize that? I don't know. He's got money. He has 23,000. He, he does have, uh, I think, everything that he needs to make it hope, uh, make it happen. Okay, but, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, we don't we don't know exactly. But this uh, isn't even his fourth ever jail. This is the third one, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. In this mm. case, this would, just, this would be his third ever jail. He can go for eight pretty early on in uh, in Lyurna. And Zudo here going for Bogart, yeah. by the way. Good old spinning strikes back wow. at again. I, <laughs> okay, I love spinning strikes. It's Zoodle. so good. It's so good. Whoa, that is crazy. And this is also and a fist weapon check. The fist weapon. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I didn't know that guy drops a fist off, and that is spicy. That's a spicy move, dude. Yeah, this is uh, prepping Raya's hand for Zoodle now in this case. He could yeah. try and force uh, row three if he really wants to. You yeah. know, go for uh, have the quest line ready, go for dagger claws and fists only, go for duo trail bosses, and then you have level 60 and Morgoth's great rune to, for potential blocks, which is pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So that guy always drops... A fist weapon, right? Uh, right. I mean. Yes. Surely. Yeah. So he okay. normally drops the uh, the iron balls. Uh, mm -hmm. as what he normally drops with okay. uh, Bogart's roar, but in this case, it's yeah randomized to Cestus. Okay. So so if hopefully Aggie knows that surely, and once he sees that Zoodle gets Raya. Um, I don't know. He would assume that Zoot like I'm sure he would assume that Zoodle's gonna go middle square, right? I don't know. I'm I'm a little confused by these by these choices. If I'm being completely honest, uh, looks mm -hmm. like that uh, Aggie is grabbing that faith tier, though. Maybe not. Never mind. Uh, yeah, going for the Erd trees, maybe because Limgrave bosses, but then also go for the Ever Jail that drops the right against the, Scar Seal. The Scar Seal, yeah. Um, but Scar Seal's not on the board and that ever jail is not really an e well it's not i wouldn't say it's one of the easier ones i would say a dawn is easier yeah um this is for the cemetery shade and the glove warts right i uh, i i don't know uh i think he's just grabbing his grace just in case he dies um mm, oh yeah okay fair enough i guess this is either this is like extreme huge brain that i just don't know or i'm just confused i don't know i i think it's definitely uh confusion at this point uh yeah. but i think in this case he's thinking he doesn't have dectus he has yeah. that means he can't get right against source seal 
why don't I just go for an Everjail that has a lesser version of Radigan's Sword Seal, which is Radigan's Scar Seal, and get the Everjail Square on top of that, so I at least have somewhat of a yeah. stat boost going on. That might yeah, be his thought enough. process here. Uh, Zuno going for uh, Alta's access already. This is so yeah. weird. I mean, like, I don't blame him for Raya's hand, which is a, a column one situation. Yeah, I mean, he, pro he surely he won't get Somber 9, so I think Zoodle is prioritizing just the majority here, just getting stuff where he can, right? I think for Zoodle, this is not a bad move, though, because, yeah, yeah if he goes to Altus, he gets Raya's hand, plus that kind of promotes Somber plus 9, because it takes him to Volcano Manor for that yeah. Somber 7. Um... And then he just has Somberstone Bellbearings 1 and 2, which is also Altus Axis. So if, if uh, Aggie doesn't have Altus Axis, he's kind of screwed, pretty much. He would have to try and force five bosses that ride a horse, which he already has one. But he would have to then try and focus yeah. that real quick as soon as he sees this Raya's Hand to Volcano Manor Square taken. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Looks like he's in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, it's this, I just don't, like, this boss is not the vibe, but if you ask me. <laughs> this boss is a little scary. Yeah. Oh, he's got to be really careful here. That little tick damage from the ice can really screw him over. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the combo. Yep. Yeah. yeah, scary, scary, scary. Um, he got the grace. I am, I am curious about about the Everjail choice. Um, yeah, I would have, I would have done a dawn. Probably. Yeah, there, there is that Raya's hand of Volcano Manor, by the way. So. Yep. This should tell Aggie, okay, Everjails is definitely not a bad block, but I have to go for bosses that ride a horse right after this because I don't think mm -hmm. I can get Somber 9, and I can't get Somber Stone Bell Bearings too. And also this tells him that Zoodle has uh, uh, entered Al uh, Altus at this point too. So you should yeah. definitely go for uh, uh, horse bosses right after this. Tree Sentinel, yeah. Knight's Cav and Weeping, Knight's Cav uh, and Limgrave. Uh, and then just Knight's Cav and Liurnia, you know, just do all of those back to back to back as fast as you can uh, to yeah. block that column. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> what is that damage? Disgusting. Oh my god. Okay. I guess that's what he was hoping for in the first in the first attempt, eh? Yeah. There we go. There um, is that Everjails block though for row one. Nice. So that's at least okay. something. I will say though, I don't like Eggy knows this game. Uh, I think the what Zoodle is doing, like. I mean, everything that Zoodle's doing makes sense. It has really great synergy, so I don't... As much as it like, might suck that Eggy lost some squares, I don't think he's surprised at all at what Zoodle's doing. No, um, not at all, but this is also... he's got a plan. Yeah, and he's going straight for the horse bosses, as I was hoping for him. Yeah. Uh, in this case, to at least get a block in. And Zoodle with the finger, by the way. Very nice. He's got the good old uh, ringed finger as his weapon. Somber weapon, which is strong. <laughs> that weapon is insane. It's such a good weapon. Oh, ouch. Did he end up getting that first, uh, that, that Kali Grace? He did, right? He has it? Yeah, he has, he does have the okay. Kali Grace in this case. It's also not a, uh, a bad check, I guess, for, for Aggie, for, as, as a, like a Halberd check, if he really wants to pivot. Um, if it's Dragon Halberd, I would pivot. 100%. Yeah. I would definitely pivot. Um. What would you pivot to? Well, to the Dragon Halberd. Oh, you mean pivot weapons, not pivot Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, okay, sorry, okay. that did sound confusing. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I would pivot to the Dragon Halberd from the Ordovus Greatsword just because of uh, the damage and the, the debuff of uh, yeah. Frost just helps a lot. Yeah, this, I mean, this weapon that he's using, I've never seen it, and it looks, like, kind of not that bad. Um, it's not I bad wonder, at all, yeah. I wonder if he'll switch to that middle square ever. Ooh, nice. I, I guess not because he doesn't if we're going majority he doesn't really have a huge reason to get that right now other than like getting the square for the, the sake of majority but he doesn't really need it to block because row three is not super fast for zoodle oh, oh. aggie getting bullied right now by this tree sentinel um got five heals getting some no. nice heals in though oh also activate a strength tier here just needs to jump I was worried that. the explosive was still in there. <laughs> it just explodes on top of that. Dude, that, that everyone would have been here brutal. has done it. If you play yeah. Elden Ring, you have accidentally done that at some point. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, okay, so here is his second uh, horse boss. There is that uh, night cav on the bridge here. I guess we'll go for probably. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, just go for all the knight's calves as fast as yeah. you can. Zoodle here going for somber stones instead. I do mm. think this is a bit of a misplay in this case for, for Zoodle. Um, 
because if you're trying to force column if if he's forcing column one this is a misplay if he's not forcing column one this is great because he's going for squares that can't be contested um uh -huh. if he's forcing column one it's bad because uh he knows that the early square that could be blocked from him is horse bosses so trying to rush through that would be a better move in this case but if he's just trying to go for all the squares because he knows he's got priority he can just easily yeah go for sunstone bell bearing one and two go for uh worm face go for altus bosses if he really wants to you know just starts taking off all of the mid squares that he knows that aki can't uh contest him on and just right. really kind of force majority yeah um yeah maybe he's trying to prioritize though his damage like the somber stone plus nine is is a nice thing to get early because then you can use that against everything else right yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, having yeah. a Cyberdyne weapon is kind of Huge. like a freebie card for like a bunch of yeah. bosses. Like, okay, well, it doesn't matter. You know, I don't really have to be super good at the boss. I just have to hit fast yeah. and hard. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice Aggie, his third horse boss there. Um, but yeah, so stuff like that, that kind of square. Also, the the healing flask squares. Um, those kind of things are nice because it, it kind of feels like it's a lot of work, but once you do them, it kind of feels like, okay, now I can face tank a bunch of bosses or like now I can just two shot every boss. You know what I mean? So yeah. they are a lot of work, but they do, it's an investment. They save you time later. So I wouldn't really blame Zoodle if that's what he's thinking. Looks like he's going for worm face here. And yeah. like, this is, like I said, this is really good from Zoodle. He's, he's just kind of like doing different squares that he has access to. The good thing here for Aggie, though, in this case, is his block is five bosses that ride a horse, but it's also Limgrave bosses that he's doing for this. So he's doing a, kind of like a double up in this case, which is really helping his momentum. So uh -huh. they're both going to be, uh, at some point, possibly tied in squares, if not closer than it looks like right now with it being two to five. Yeah. Um... And Wormface is a scary one sometimes, kind of like Red Wolf. Like it, it's not—he's not so hard, but when he kills you, he kills you. <laughs> you know. Yep. Um, Huge. And stagger. Uh, yeah. Wow. Really good damage there. He got—he got that uh, that sneak up uh, poise damage. So when you actually when you uh, this you can do this with uh, Black Blade Kindred. You can do this with Wormface and other bosses that kind of just linger and that don't know that you're there. There is a uh, a hidden um surprise poise damage buff so if you attack a boss that doesn't is not aggroed to you and you attack them you get a little bit of a, a bonus poise damage uh -huh, on that first okay. hit so that's why that uh that that stagger happened a little bit sooner for worm face than expected yeah. uh nice fight here though from zoodle very nice yeah, fight. really really clean fight nice um and so aggie sees zoodle is doing the things in altis are we surprised? Probably not, because he has all the alt stuff already. Right. Um, I guess Aggie's just he's just gotta commit here, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, and like I said, this is actually definitely not bad for Aggie. This is possibly a you know two squares in one type of situation. Yeah. Um where he gets Limgrave bosses and he gets uh, uh horse bosses. Mm -hmm. That's his fourth horse boss, seventh Limgrave boss. And he can go straight, honestly. I'd go for a horse boss in Liurnia and then go straight for, like, Godric in this case. Because then you have a Limgrave yeah. boss and also a Remembrance boss on top of that. That's three yeah, squares. Yeah. yeah, hopefully he does Godric as the last one there. Because that just makes sense, right? Well, it looks like he's going for Gertrys here. I think he's just rushing it. Oh, the boss with the tree in their name is actually yeah, on the board, too. So. Okay, so, yeah, Tree Sentinel is a nice one. Um... And then this is this will be his second tree, which is nice that he got that explosive actually, for this reason too. So well, he kind of has three and one here. Well, this is yeah, this is his third tree boss, uh, because he yeah. did the other one in in Lyurnia. Um yes. But yeah, this would be his eighth boss race. So he's gonna mark that. Then he's gonna go for I'm assuming, uh, the horse boss in uh Lyurnia as well to finish off the horse bosses and then go for watchdogs potentially. <laughs> Okay, so he's got now three tree bosses, four horse bosses, right? Or four four tree bosses. I is claiming four. I don't. It says four. Yeah. So he had the explosive tree. He had the tree sentinel, and he had this 
tree. Was there another tree that I missed? Yeah, do we miss another tree? I think it's only three tree boguses, not four. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's... He don't, Nightcap, I think he, isn't it true? Yeah, okay, it's, it went down to three. It went down to three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was about to say. I was, cool. that definitely felt off a little bit there. But yeah, yeah this is yeah, definitely yeah. helping him out to gain some momentum on the board here. Uh, and yeah. Zoodle currently having a uh, rot dog, dog with a rot, doing a lot of work on this Bofa. Yeah. Just waiting for that rot to uh, take effect. And uh, he just hangs out. Yeah. Nice. There it is. Aggie going for his last uh, horse boss, which uh, like I said is going to be the Lyurnia boss. That seems to be the best situation here for him. Mm hmm. Not the damage is not that great. I do have to say, like I'm kind of surprised for a plus four. The weapon is not doing as much as I expected. Yeah, it is bearable though. It's not like horrible. Yeah, as it's yellow damage. You know, that's nothing yeah, to sneeze yeah. at. But the yellow damage is is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then yeah, and then the guy will get on the floor anyway, and then he gets the repost and GGs. And uh, here is Zoodle is going for what seems to be falling star beast now. With uh, Cyberstone Bellbearings 1 and 2. Almost okay. all the bingos have been blocked from Aggie besides Column 5. Oh, there's Zoodle trying to get this jump here. I've So in the season, I've never done this skip. I've never really seen it that much. But I've seen a lot of players attempt it this season. And it seems really hard. It's a little tricky. It's a little finicky. Yeah. Zoodle does miss that jump yet again. He's got to be careful here that yeah. Kindred of Rot doesn't knock him off the ground here. Aggie okay, claiming nice. five horse bosses, which nice. is really, really good. Okay. Blocking that column one now. Beautiful. And he's got that two in one thing there. Nice, nice. Oh, and, and Dragon yeah, and Halberd here. Yeah, there's that pivot. That's what I'm talking nice. about. You, 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 if you see that weapon, just go for the pivot. I'm assuming he got that. Wait, yeah. where did he get that from anyways? Where did he get that? Uh, was there another chat? halberd check that I that I missed? I don't know. You got it from the knight's calf? Oh, whole, okay. whole snap. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, you must have just gotten it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Eggy is headed towards the uh, the tree boss here, maybe? <clears throat> uh, I think he's grabbing the elevator at the very least, the grace, and then, yeah, possibly going for that last Earth tree. Yeah. Um, this Earth tree is not so bad. I don't blame him for this. Especially with Dragon Halberd. It's going to be yeah. honestly a piece of cake. Anything with Dragon Halberd is pretty easy, you know, pre Altus. Oh, it Zoodle. Is... Oh, no. Yeah, Falling Star Beast has got some... I like to think of Falling Star Beast kind of like Red Wolf. Like, it feels like it should be not so bad, but the, some hitboxes are weird. Some jumps are weird. Some dodges are weird. Okay. Hopefully he got that shortcut, though. Aggie remembering that he doesn't have the other half of the deck just yet. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was wondering about that. Um, he could do the tree boss here. I wonder if he will. It, it is tankier, but if he has the damage, it's not super hard to fight. Well, this one doesn't um, count, though, sadly. Oh, that's right. It's a putrid avatar, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it yeah. is definitely weird that they don't have putrid tree avatar for some reason yeah. in the name, but... Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, you got this one that's not a tree, and then you have those statue cats who are trees. Right. Yeah, yeah, this is the Earth Tree Weird. Burial Watchdogs. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is kind of interesting. I wonder if he's going to just leave the tree square. Or, in this case, actually, he might be going for Tree Sentinel Duo. I think that's why he wants to go to Altus, because you do have uh, kill three duo trio bosses. You know, yeah. grab uh, Tree Sentinel Duo as a tree boss, but also as a duo fight. Um, another two for one type of situation. Right. I was I was wondering earlier if he would contest that. It's a pretty good like decision if you have the damage and if you know how to fight them. But it's a little scary also. But I guess you gotta be risky sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean that's bingo. To be honest, half of it is just being risky and making yeah. strong plays that you know could yeah. turn into you dying. Uh, the really nice fight here by Zoodle. Um, yeah. getting the repost as well. This should be two more jumping R2s should take care of it. Oh, he does miss that, sadly, that headshot. Nice roll. 
There we go. Oh! Nice. Vitality oh. isn't real. There we go, though. There nice. we go. Somberstone nice one. Okay. And, okay, it looks like Aggie did grab the other half of the deck this year, but it's going to go upgrade plus four on the Dragon Halberd and then yeah. go straight for that uh, Earth Tree, potentially. Uh, Zoodle here going for the Somberstone two now, grabbing that bottom. So this is him kind of pushing out possibly row five, uh, if not just uh, yeah, trying to force majority. Either way, it's going to be his eighth square. You think he's going to... Yeah, no, he's not going to go for that Earth Tree. He's, I think he's doing the double tree, the double uh, Sentinels. Yeah, yeah, he's going yeah. straight for that right away. Yeah. Well, hopefully he knows the fight. I think this would be really, really good for him if he, if he like knows it. Because you do also have. Isn't there? No, I was gonna say, isn't there that duo like, Mar? What's her name? Margie or something? Maggie. <laughs> Maggie. But that duo is in is in Limgrave actually, right? Oh, the demi human chiefs. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that, yeah, I thought that was an Altus here, but it's not. It's in Limgrave, but that's not that hard to get to if he does choose to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, not at all. They, you could easily melt them with the Dragon Halberd, especially a plus <laughs> four in this case. Um, yeah, are there any other duos that you think should be prioritized here? The fastest ones, honestly, is, especially if, if uh, Aggie wants to make this as efficient as possible, True Sentinel duo in this case, and then the yeah. Urtree Watchdog duo in Kaelin, yeah. and then go for... Um, the uh, demi human chiefs as that yeah. last one because then that's two tree bosses also two duo bosses and then the mm -hmm. other duo boss on top of that that's two squares two for one yeah, special which, on a saturday yeah. night which sounds fantastic as long as it works out for him <laughs> like as long as as long as zoodle doesn't mess up his plans it sounds fantastic and it's also this is really good for zoodle by the way having the ringed yeah. finger in this fight because it is a bonk weapon strike damage is really good against the crystallians so he does make that fight look very very easy here Grabbing that corner square now. Yeah, so Aggie sees that he needs to block column or row, f yeah, row five. But I was gonna say he's not too concerned because he's going to do the the tree guys right now. But he's not, right? Is I don't know. I think he was trying them? to possibly go for that Somberstone square, but then realized yeah. that Aggie, uh, that Zoodle just took it. But yeah. uh, the other thing is that Zoodle... would have been good for Duo True as well. Yeah, Zoodle isn't really marking his uh, Altus bosses is the other thing here. So we don't really know. I think he only yeah. has two right now, Wormface and the Double Crystallians. Yes, um, I think so. I think so. Yeah, but it looks like that Zoodle is actually going now to possibly get that center square. Is Eggy going to... Yeah, he's going to the Apostle, right? Yeah, he might be. Yeah, yeah he, he might yeah. actually just going straight to the Apostle. It doesn't have any sleep pots, though, so this is going to be a fight purely combat. No yeah. cheese. Uh, Yeah, for someone like Aggie who does those like no-hit randos, I'm not extremely concerned for him. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad of a fight. Yeah. Uh, I, I've definitely done, you know, God's Go Apostle without uh, healing as well. If you know how to exploit the AI... To where you have like really good uh attacking windows uh, especially in phase two the fight is honestly not that bad you can have you can force the ai to do like the jumping attack which allows you to do jumping r2s on them nice fight That's so much damage yeah, nice zoodle just eats that air attack yeah. goes for a jumping r2 and yeah aggie won for that godskin apostle in windmill village i do think this is a decent plan blocks yeah. that row five immediately just in case uh, mm -hmm. also promotes his, uh, column five in that case as well. Yeah. It's also, I want, like, he does have the six bosses in Alt Altus, uh, squ square there. Um, just remind me the <laughs> duo that, oh, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> the okay. tree sentinel duo counts as one boss, right? Yes. Uh, okay. for tree. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So... I didn't know we were yeah. at the deli getting a little sliced and diced here by a Godskin yeah. Apostle. Oh, um, she did get the grace, though, which is lovely. Yeah, you have a Stake of America here, which makes it a little bit easier, oh, for cool. sure. Which is really, cool. really nice. Um, but uh, still, yeah, if you if you do get stuck in that one combo where he just like starts slicing in front of him, yeah. that one right there, for example, it can be a lot of damage. Yeah, his damage isn't looking great, but hey, he got it. 
for sure. For and sure this time. Zoodle here going for that uh, claw check as well that Aggie went for. Aggie getting uh, sliced and diced yeah. yet again. Um, this will be a Bloodhound Claws here for Zoodle, possibly then going straight for Godric here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I he I think he's definitely going to do that. And I, I wonder if Aggie's going to regret not doing the middle square there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I like, like I said, we're 57 minutes into the match, and no one has touched the, uh, Godric or the middle square yeah. in this case, which is insane to me. Absolutely insane. Here we go, going for another buff, and now it's looking like he's going for a light rolling. Now took off some of his armor. That's that jumping attack that is very punishable. Uh, helps out a lot. He can do a jumping R2 after this. Goes for the R1 instead. Has to be careful. He does have light uh, roll now, though, which is uh, definitely a little bit easier against this boss specifically because it gives you a little bit more uh, ground time. Has to be careful not to go for those punishes. Uh, you just bait out bait out that slam down attack. That's all you really should be going for here. Um, that one's fine, too. Jumping R2 on that. And then go uh, yeah, trying to bait out that slam down attack as much as you can. Um, I wonder how there much the terrain nice. matters here, too. Like just being on the on the angle. And it's not too bad. Uh, besides when he does jumping like that. Um, but the terrain here is not too horrendous. I haven't really seen too many issues. Okay. Uh, besides if Godzilla Ooh. Apostle gets on that hill, for example, and then falls down and like resets his AI, which is a little awkward. Yeah. All right. It's kind of low health on him. I'm not gonna say anything else though because. <laughs> um. Do you think that this boss is reminiscent of Romeo from Lies of P? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, they have the same weapon type at the very least. But like I mentioned here too, by the way, in phase two, it is a little bit easier to punish um, some of those attacks because he like lingers a lot or like moves to like different locations to where you can just punish him if you just roll through it like that. For example, if you, you honestly, you don't even have to roll there. All you have to do is just uh, literally hug his butt and just strafe around it, and all the attacks miss, and you can get, like, two R1s on there. Roll through here, start hitting his body. Don't lock on, though, because the weird thing is for the lock on uh, on God's Gonna Apostle for this specific attack is, is that the game thinks you're aiming at his body, uh, his chest, but his chest is going past you, so you're mm -hmm. aiming at the sky then and not hitting his legs. So you got to lock off after you roll through that and just hit right. his legs instead to get as much damage as possible. Uh, but that is God's Gonna Apostle here for Aggie. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so Very GG's nice. to him on that. Yeah. That's a nice fight. I get scared of phase two, but Yeah. You know, for, for someone who's actually good at Elden Ring, I bet they <laughs> don't get scared of phase two. Or just sleep pot, you know, just you know, less stress in that case. Just sleep pot him, call it a day. Yeah. Um, alright, so here is Zoodle. That claw weapon is not doing much damage. Good thing Godric isn't a super hard boss, and it will bleed, as you said. Um but yeah, the damage isn't looking great. Yeah, I'm really curious to see Aggie's uh, reaction to Zoodle getting this because surely you would expect it, right? Uh, yeah, I agree. Aggie feels like he kind of gave that up, um, which was an interesting choice. I would have done it for a boss in Limgrave, but, you know, again, that's why I'd, I'm not playing this season. <laughs> Maybe that's not right. I mean, the thing, you can't necessarily say that. I'm pretty sure you would have learned it if you were actually, like, in the roster and had to practice. You would have, uh, like, you know... Yeah. <laughs> actually sat down and learned it like in this case being like oh now i don't know but you, you know it's not the same but yeah. of course <laughs> pretty sure you've been, you've been able to do it um, um but yeah godric's not a bad fight zoodle knows what he's doing here and that's a nice bleed right there um yeah i wonder what what aggie's plan is to block the middle row uh surely the duo trio boss like he doesn't have any though but yeah there aren't like if he does the tree duo relatively easily um the maggie fight is pretty easy and then yeah the cats are easy too so hopefully looks uh, like uh but... aggie is a little lost and where to go next here i think he's going straight for gillica now i think he's going straight for altus bosses uh instead trying to get some more talismans that might help him out zula here is sitting through the godric dialogue and getting that middle square now mm -hmm. Aggie sees it. Uh, I don't think he looks very concerned. Um, yeah, he, he. Yeah, I mean, he just gave that up. I guess he just. Aggie seems like he's playing more of the majority game, and he's like, if I don't need to block that middle square, I, I just don't. I guess. 
don't know. Aggie he, is very um, stoic. He like he can, he's easy to. He's very good at. He has a really good poker face. I think too. Yeah. Um, so we. Uh, I don't know. I, I think in this case, like he is kind of making a good choice by having. Because Zoodle doesn't know that he has Altus access. Okay, yeah. besides God's gonna pass. Well, but... yeah, I think I think. <sighs> the thing is, like, he could have done God's gonna pass in Caleb. He could have done the Divine Tower one. No reason to do the harder one necessarily. So I think the safe assumption is that this is the Altus one. Um. But yeah, I don't know. This yeah, could have just been probably like a. Assumes... Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, Zoodle probably assumes that he uh, sniped the Deckness Medallion from Aggie, and that Aggie was just kind of on his trail on the Altus stuff, so I think he, it's better for him to expect it. Um, so here we go, Aggie is going to the Volcano for... Possibly Somber 9, but also, uh, I guess, Duo Trio, because you have Virgin Abductor Duo in this case. So you kind of go for like a two-for-one here as well, where you can get the Somber 9 upgrade on Dragon Halberd. Yes. But then yeah. also the Virgin Abductor Duo uh, as another duo fight. He does have Lightning, so it does make it a little bit easier as well. Um, I would go for Demi-Human Chiefs here. I also still think that the Tree Sentinel Duo would be a good pickup, but... In this case, to be honest, if you go for a Sombra Knight and then Tree Sentinel Duo, that might just be more comfy and just a yeah. little bit faster too, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of choices here um, that he can do. I'm curious what he'll go for. Definitely making it hard for Zoodle to predict what Aggie's doing, but, you know, Zoodle's just doing his own thing at this point, so... Yeah, it looks like Zoodle know. is going for incantations here. So going to be grabbing that Flame Cleanse Me spell location, and then also going for that Ancient Dragon uh, incantations book. The thing I'm actually really surprised by, by the way, is that NPC Invaders is still on the board yeah. after an hour and four minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a nice one for me. I I would have assumed that someone would go for NPC Invader with that dagger check. At yeah. Narius with yeah. my beloved Reduvia check. Yeah. I agree. Um, I agree. But, I mean, it, it kind of worked out for them this way. And, yeah, like, row four is blocked off. Um, so, I mean, it's not really looking like the worst thing ever. But I don't think either of them even have a single NPC invader, right? <laughs> yeah, neither of them have actually yeah. even done the square. Yeah. I, I mean, in Aggie's case, it would be worth it because he would be blocking that diagonal. But um, I yeah. don't know. This is... I think he sees Duo Trio as a, a, a better block, which I do kind of agree with because you are blocking Road 3 and Column 4 at the same time with that one square. Um, if you go for Duo Trio and you force that. Uh, so that might be the best play for him in this case. But it looks like he's actually going for Godskin Noble first. Okay. Maybe pushing out um, that he Somber be, 9. He could be going for RL60 with Rikerd. Potentially. Is that crazy? Zoodle getting absolutely Ooh. decimated by the Landell Knight here. This guy is not to mess with. This guy is actually, like, scary. He has no stamina bar. He's got a huge shield to block all your attacks. Um, he's he's just... He's not as easy as he looks, pretty much. He's just a wandering knight. Like, oh, he's just, he's just a dude hanging out in Liurnia. Nah, mm -hmm. nah, 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 nah. This guy is, is pretty strong and tanky on top of that. Dude... NPCs with a shield should be taken out of every single FromSoft game. Dude, the worst, I think the worst enemy in all of FromSoft is uh, Grave Tender. From really? Dark Souls 3. If yeah. He's got that yeah. shield, bro. Oh, dude. I, when I was doing my Dark Souls 3 rando, like, race situation thing, I was like, I was going to go on a GDQ Hotfix show and I was like, Eggy. Look at my seat and make sure Grave Tender's not in it. I'm not doing it. I hate Grave Tender. He needs to get out of the game. Yeah, I think Grave Worst. Tender and uh, Half Flight are probably the two most annoying bosses in. Uh... Yeah, in all of FromSoft, you can just say it. Worse than Dark Souls two bosses. Half Flight is probably the worst boss fight in all FromSoft for sure. Like you know what? That fight I is would so say annoying. Grave Tender is worse, and I. It's just. Like, if Grave Tender is scaled up, he is so bad. But GG Saggy on the God's Noble, beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Zoodle this time learning his lesson, grabbing a grace just in case, mm -hmm. as they say. Um, going for the knight yet again, going for the incantations book. I think this is a good idea from Zoodle because that is promoting that diagonal that he's looking at. 
but also it is blocking that column five, which is the last bingo line that uh, Aggie has. So he's pushing out yeah. into majority. Right. So so Zoodle's gonna get. Let's assume Zoodle gets fourteen incants. What is Aggie's play for for the diagonal block? Three NPC invaders, which is still yeah. available. Like that's like that's your only option at this point, unless you do Maybe more got. Yeah, maybe he's waiting for that just because he thinks it's not a very hard, like, square. It's fast enough. I kind of don't disagree. Um, it's you can. I think you can do it pretty quickly, especially if Eggy gets, like, a plus nine or whatever. At least a plus six, I guess. Um, pretty good. He could probably do it pretty easily. Mm. Or Morgoth, I guess. I wonder if he'd prioritize, like, if he's thinking of the DTS and Morgoth for the tree boss. That's not, that's, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, you do Tree Sentinel Duel, you do DTS, bada bing, bada boom, you're near capital. The thing is, Aggie does yeah. not have a single remembrance. That's the only problem here. He doesn't Ooh, have capital access. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Part. That's a big problem in this case, and he's Yikes. been lingering on it for the whole yeah. match. The only one that has remembrance is Zoodle, and it's only Godric after an hour and eight minutes. This is mm -hmm. not looking good for either of them, to be honest. Uh, so Aggie, I, I assume that Aggie has thought about that and is probably thinking as long as I don't have to do Morga or the Shackles, it's fine. Mm. There is also Morga's Great Rune though, but I don't know. I don't know. He knows that Zoodle has one Remembrance. And to be honest, if Aggie just doesn't really care about the Daggers or the Sorcery only, he can just like two-shot Godric. Like it'll be pretty easy for him. Um... So, I don't know. Maybe that's what he's thinking. I mean, Riker does give him a remembrance here. Also, a lot of money oh, and yes, works towards yes. level 60. So, there is kind of that play. Uh, also, they both have killed Red Wolf. So, he could easily go and just kill Renala yeah. really quickly if he really yeah, wanted yeah. to. Um, as his second remembrance instead. And kind of leave Godric open as a sorcery boss. Uh, mm -hmm. He does see that Zoodle does mark that 14th incantation square. So, that's 10 to 5 now for Zoodle being in the lead by 5 squares. That's a huge lead. Going into an hour and ten, uh, almost on this match. Right. Yeah, but Aggie is pretty prepped on tree bosses. He's he's like on his way to Somber plus nine, and he's on his way to duo trio bosses, um, and kind of RL sixty. So he is like he is prepping a little bit. Um, it's not like you know, it's not like he's in a horrible horrible situation or anything like that. Um. And I guess Zoodle can only assume what Aggie's doing and just worry about himself. This is going to be interesting, uh, though, because Zoodle might lose a lot of time here. Because uh, Zoodle and Aggie are currently in Volcano Manor, and if Aggie goes for that Somber 9 first, and then Zoodle preps for it as well, they both will have a Somber 9, but Aggie will get that square before him, so at least give him a little bit of a lead. But that also tells Zoodle that they're both currently at Rikard. And yeah, mm -hmm. Aggie's going for that Somber 9 or Somber 7 right away. Uh, Zulu could just pivot straight to uh, Rikard then as a second remembrance instead, which would give him a bit of a head start here on level 60. Right. Yeah, I guess we'll see how the Rikard fight goes. Um, I feel like both players are probably pretty well versed in that fight. Um, I'm not really seeing Zoodle do it. I know that Aggie is good because a lot of people would go for that in speedruns or in the first season of Bingo. Mm. Um, but yeah, we'll see. All right, so he's got the plus seven. He uh, is going to go to Caleb for the eight and nine. Is there any better place to get the eight and nines? Or you think that's what that's, the next step is? That's the only, like, you, okay. you could go sewers, I guess. But I think you, you don't get a yeah. nine in sewers. You get seven and eight in sewers. Maybe you get a nine in sewers. I don't I don't know. Sewers okay. is a little bit of a, a gray area for me. Um, but everyone right. seems to honestly really go for uh, uh, the, the eight and nine here in Dragon Barrel instead. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll see. There is also the NPC invader in Kaled, which like he doesn't seem to be going for, but he can get it if he needs to. And also the duo boss. So it's not like a complete waste of time to be in Kaled. Um, yeah, not at all. Yeah, pumpkin head duo. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's great. Sure. I think I think this still looks like anyone's game. I think it's it's really interesting. I mean, like I said before, they're both doing their own thing. They're just focusing on their own squares and just hoping for the best. Um, I think it's really cool. I like to see games like this. 
This is where this is where things get a very interesting for sure, just because Aggie does have a priority on some of these squares just based on progress. Um, but Zoodle has, I would say, a lot more uh, map presence in this case, right? Uh, based on his earlier squares, so it's kind of colliding on. Okay, what what's pretty much going to win you the match? Is it the the prep that Aggie has put in, or is it going to be just like Zoodle having a lot of head start on map and then also having a five square lead? This might mm -hmm. be a two hour match to where uh, majority is going to come into play. Ooh, that was scary, but nice drop down. Dude, those branches and those kind of jumps are always so scary because, uh, like, the game does the weird thing where if you, like, don't stand on the branch yeah. long enough with Torrent, it doesn't count. I hate or it. Or something. I hate it. It's so annoying near the academy when you do that jump down. Um, and you do it properly and then you just insta-die and you're like, okay, great, I guess. And <laughs> so dumb. There we go. That is another square now for Aggie. Beautiful. 10 to 6 now. Somber 9 is on the board. Somber 9, Dragon Halberd. Mm. Uh, is a lot. That's a lot yeah. of damage. We're looking at uh, a lot here, and this would be possibly then Rikert now for Aggie, his first remembrance. Zoodle currently on God's Noble. They're per both technically standing in the same room in the mm -hmm. same spot. Kind of yeah. funny. So this is... Uh, dude, having a plus nine somber is so nice. It kind of feels like... Uh, you know when Zoodle was playing against MPT and he had that like ginormous health bar? And it was kind of like, you know, it doesn't even really matter what happens. I can tank most things anyway and, mm. like, whatever. That kind of feels like a somber plus nine weapon where, you know, it's like, whatever, the boss will melt anyway. I'll just go do whatever I need to do. Um, definitely gives you some confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if Zoodle has seen that Aggie already got that somber nine. This should tell him that he already beat Godskin Noble. This should tell him that he has priority on Riot uh, I think in this case for Zoodle, it doesn't really matter because he still needs a second remembrance anyways. Might yeah. as well, you know, just do, in this case, God's going to Riker because they still count towards Altus bosses because it does say including Volcano Manor. So uh, Noble yes. and Riker still count. In this case, also Virgin Abductor still counts. Um, yeah, okay. So for Aggie in this case, this will, this will be his fourth Altus boss. And uh, for Zoodle, this would be, I believe, his third because he did get Wormface and Double Crystallion. So this would be his third Altus boss. Right, okay. So Aggie gets Rikert. He gets four Altus bosses. Yep. Um, and then Tree Sentinels will give him five. And then, I don't know. I wonder if... Virgin Abductor Duo. I would just do that because that's a duo Virgin fight Abductor duo. and Altus, you know? Dude, let him cook for real. Damn. Yeah, he's got some good stuff going on here. Right. Ooh, Zoodle, Zoodle is really it. close yeah. to possibly losing this fight here, looking a, a little scary. Uh, what is that finger at? Plus four? Because that is not very yeah, good the, damage for some reason. The damage is not great. Record here for Aggie now. Very yeah, close. Zoodle fight, obviously though. knows this fight, but like, all you need is one bad hitbox, dude. And yeah. It's just. No, Nova's got a lot of bad hitboxes. <laughs> nice rolls. Nice rolls. There's the stagger yeah. here. Yeah, that damage is not very high. I'm actually very surprised. Pulls out the claws instead here, trying to get maybe a bleed proc to finish the job. He's going for... He's not even two-handing it. He's going... Oh, there we go. Okay. I hate that move. That move Really? This one? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's so hard to... Oh, this is bad news, bears. Okay. He's actually in a good position no, here to get yeah, that that's stuck. Really nice. Very, very nice. Very he's, lucky... Uh, he didn't die there. He just got like pushed back. I would definitely honestly take out the finger here and just flick him through the pillar But uh, that is also a little bit scary when you're low on health mm. um, Oh, it's so scary. Oh, Noble! Noble trying to juke Zoodle by picking different size of the pillar And uh, being very patient yeah. good for him a Very patient fight, but also a very slow fight, which is not necessarily mm -hmm. working in Zoodle's favor here. Aggie already on Rikard phase two. Zoodle having a lot of great dodges, though. Very nice Noble Presence dodges. Just has to make sure that he doesn't choke, because this is a lot of time he's losing if he does yeah. screw this up. And there's the bleed proc. He does get it. Wow. wow. Very good nice. Good for him. Oh, my God. The patience was so good there. Dude. Very nice fight. That was, nice. that was a clencher. Yeah. It was a clencher. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah, so he's got that. He's he's going somewhere else. Um, I guess 
Yeah, I don't. Maybe he's just like over the somber, over the rye curd. Um, where did he go? What do you think he's doing right now? I think he might be going for Ranala as a second remembrance instead. Yeah. Going for capital. Yeah, I think that Ranala is a better move if oh. he's got the. Oh. Second guessing. Pivoting. Okay. And I do getting... think Ranala is a better move though than rye curd. And getting the stun on Riker here should have this kill in just a moment here. Nice. First Remembrance boss and also 120 Smackaroonies into his inventory, excluding the Remembrance. Nice. Very nice fight, dude. It's like 160,000. I think that might have been no hit or close to no hit at least. That's very nice fight. Very sure. clean. Yeah. Very nice, dude. These players are so good, man. I am like so impressed by all the bingo players this season. They're all just like good at everything which i understand is required for this but you know yeah yeah and it's aggie leveling cool. a lot cool. of health here by the way 37 does have a plus nine dragon hopper now going for Renala. he's going for double remembrance here as at level 49 needs 11 levels uh zoodle i'm not too sure what his level is currently but also going for Renala. so so aggie going for Renala. he's going for two remembrances um which means that he is gonna want to fight Morgoth eventually, or maybe he's just prepping for Morgoth and Morgoth's Great Rune and the Shackles. Understandable. Don't really blame him. Moongrim um, having <laughs> a field day. Sorry. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> um, Zoodle has a lot of health, actually. More than Aggie. Uh, why do you think Aggie's not doing Godric? Uh, because it wants to keep that open for sorcery uh, only, just in it case. Open for sorcery only, yeah. Yep, so, yep. oh, sense. Turtle Shield. Yo. That's nice. Stamina that regen. Stamina? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. If he wants nice, to use it. Nice. Yeah. All right. So a Renala fight. Nothing on the board for it, but yeah, it's a second remembrance. This. Oh yeah. So Zoodle had Godric. Ooh. So what's crazy about stuff like this is that if it does come down to kill a remembrance boss sorcery only, and that's like the last square that someone needs to get or whatever. It does suck a little bit for Zoodle, which he could do, you know, Radon or whatever, but um, Godric is obviously a lot easier. Very and by fast. the way, that damage, oh my god, that Plus was what, nine. four shot? Plus Holy nine. And now we're also dude. in a body of water, so that Dragon Helper does do even more damage with Frozen oh Lightning. Oh my god, that's um, disgusting, dude. The thing that's uh, this is what I guess we were mentioning at the beginning of the match was the whole uh, playing chicken, a uh, chicken with the uh, middle square. Oh. Um, waiting for someone to do it so that you can actually hold on to that sorcery only if you really, really need to. Yeah. Which is still a risky play, but this might actually pay off for Aggie in this case, uh, oh, where he has priority play. on sorcery. Uh, and Zoodle already having, you know, uh, claws on Godric. So you'd have to do sorcery on Radon, for example. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Dude, that... Oh my god. That, that That's what I'm saying. Like It's like... You have a plus nine, and then you're like, it doesn't even matter what she does. Like, you just got to touch her, and then she dies. Yeah. Um. Cool. Wow. Okay. Uh, Aggie is headed to duo trees, guys. Potentially. I'm not too sure just yet. Yeah, he never did virgin duo. Um. I think he would do melt virgin duo. Uh, he definitely would, but I guess it is a little bit of a, a running segment. So instead, why don't you just do True Sentinel Duo instead and then DTS? Because that's two uh, right. tree bosses and also two Altus bosses. Those are the two that you need for both of those squares. Um, yes. I, so I do think that does take a little bit of a priority in this case. Zoodle, great fight here with Renala. Does get the kill as well. So that's two remembrances now for Zoodle in this case. I do think Z Aggie actually kind of has the head start here on Capital. Right, but Aggie, by the way, he does. I think he has the grace before Virgin Duo. Maybe he doesn't. I saw him go down there. I think he probably has that. Maybe he just got it in case he needs it later or something. Potentially. Um, not a bad. He's doing some prepping. I don't blame him. Um, but yeah, with his weapon, like he's kind of chilling. Do we know what Zoodle's weapons is a uh, level at yet? I think it's a plus six now. Okay, yeah, so he never went for that seven. Yeah. Don't really blame him. It's kind of far, but yeah, I guess if he has no reason to go into Kaelid, it's a little bit of a time oh. sink, but like, you know. This is interesting. So Zudo now going for NPC invaders, going for that good old Henricus, just hanging out at the Coliseum. 
But this is going to actually play in Aggie's favor because Aggie isn't even yeah. going for Embassy Invaders. He's going for Morgoth in this case. For Morgoth. Which, like, he's got the damage. He knows the fight. He wants DTS anyway. Aggie is chilling here. Aggie actually does not care about Duo at all. Uh, and just yeah. rides past it. I think, yeah, he's just going to go straight yeah. for uh, Capital here. Yeah, I think that's a good move. He needs to get that Morgoth. He doesn't have a parry shield, but with a plus 9 Dragon Helper, DTS shouldn't be that much of a problem. Uh, and Zoodle going for potentially another invader, although I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's grabbing Stormwall, I think. He's going for that Scarab with the uh, Stormwall Ash. Okay. Hmm, what an interesting game. This is, this is like one of my favorite games, I think, that I've seen. Like, just like a lot going on on both sides, a lot yeah. of comebacks, a lot of some snipes here and there like just really great decisions for both of them yeah i'm actually very surprised there were some snipes but i think overall this has been very separate play styles uh yeah which is interesting yeah and very uh very calm on both ends like they're both very collected very cool they know what they're doing um yeah it's really really cool to see so we're going for DTS here on Aggie's yeah. screen. We're going for what seems to be... Oh, the invader here on Volcano yeah. Manor. That's a nice Keep pick here from Zoodle. Yeah, I totally forgot about this guy, actually. <laughs> the, the Giza wheel. Yep, yep, yep. Breaking all the tables just in case because they can get in the way and be really annoying. Uh, dude, I break those tables just because it's fun usually while you wait for them to appear. So that's pretty cool. Yep. And Zudo going straight for the finger here. Getting that <laughs> micro stagger so into the big stagger is so useful on the Beautiful. finger. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Giza man fingered. And we're moving on to the third invader here, which is going to be Narius. I believe yeah. is what he's going for. So, All right, so the ZTS damage is it's not like mind blowing, but it's definitely enough. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it is, you know, we're looking at like mid. Uh, a, a mid game boss that is kind right. of, uh, I mean, it's still a lot of damage for sure. Right. Um, and once the frost proc does actually go off, he will uh, have uh, a good amount of more damage as well. Right. Should be. Just compared to Renala. Renala was like, yeah. you breathe on her and she's dead. Yeah. There we go. Nice damage though. Oh, he's got to be careful though. Okay. Yeah, I'm behind. Let me just refresh. You're spoiling the game for me. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Zudi here getting his third NPC invader on Nerys. I do wonder what the dagger gonna drop, uh, drop is going to be. I can't talk. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we'll have a vanilla Reduvia. Not like it matters anymore, but, you know. Oh. Nice. Giant Crusher. Parrying dagger. Oh, that's probably a good idea. They didn't go for that then. Yeah, and GG's to Aggie. Nice first try on that. Skipping the grace. Yeah, so he's going to go do Morgoth. And then RL60, I assume, after, right? Wait, did he not do Henricus? Wait, what happened to Henricus? Which one is Henricus? That's oh, the guy, that, wait. The guy at the Coliseum. No, he he didn't. Because he was running there. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but he didn't fight him. Oh, right. He joined Volcano Manor, so the Henricus invader goes away. Ah, right. If you talk to Tanith and say, "Hey, yeah, I'll join Volcano Manor to assassinate people for you," that invader goes away because then you start doing like missions for them. You become a hitman, so some of those invasions do go away. I completely forgot about that actually, because normally yeah, he's doing this round table though. No, this square doesn't last that long, so you don't have to think about that the consequences right. of joining right. Volcano Manor. But yeah, Matt yeah. Elbridge here as his third option. Zood uh Aggie going for capital skip here does get a first try. Very nice. nice, dude. Very clean, Aggie. GG's. There we go. Three NPC invaders now here for Zoodle. This is good news for Aggie. This is for him yeah. like, okay, huge. I'm making the right yeah. choice. I'm going for Morgard. I'm not going for uh, NPC invaders anyways. I get to block yeah. that diagonal now. Yeah, dude. Something, dude, it feels so good in bingo when you predict what they're going to do and then they do it mm -hmm. and you're like... I got him right where I want him, dude. It feels so good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It is. And Zoodle, I wonder if he's worried. I think that he, Zoodle, surely Zoodle knows that Morgoth is kind of out of the question for him at this point. 
right? He's Not going too for the sure. Shackles, Not too sure, but yeah, it looks like Zoodle is grabbing the shackle here. Zoodle yeah. does have a lot of options when it comes to like just doing easier stuff if he really, really wants to. He could just rush level 60 and do duo trio bosses. He only needs two squares to win majority. He doesn't have to go do more god. He doesn't have to do the rate rune. He doesn't have to do shackles. He can just go ahead, do the Urchery or do the putrid avatar and and dragon burrow. Go do Grail if he really wants to. Right. 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 Get that money. Uh, go for both of twins and Kaled. Go for pumpkin head and bada bing bada boom. He's got two squares. He's done. He doesn't have yeah, to worry about true. this other stuff. Yeah, that was a very a lot of squares. A lot of nice and quick squares from Zoodle. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, I mean, Aggie's got to block that, so that's what he's going to go do. Grabbing this grace is not a bad idea. I don't know if he grabbed the other grace. I believe he did, which is going to be quicker for him to grab shackles if he does go for that. He did kill Rikert as well, by the way, so he doesn't have to kill Patches. Patches does move on and leaves his bell bearing behind, so all he has to do is just run into that cave and grab the bell nice. bearing. Um, so it does save him a little bit of time while uh, for killing Rikert. He is currently level 49 still, I believe. Uh, ooh, ooh, what the Jesus giving me a heart Dude, attack. So Aggie's gonna get gold free. He's gonna get six bosses in Altus Plateau. Um, and then he's gonna get more gods, so that'll bring him up to eight squares. Yeah, I guess still not super close to majority, but like, I, I guess it just depends on how it, this goes for Zoodle. I, I mean, yeah, and then he'll, I assume he'll get RL60 after Morgoth. I don't know exactly how much money it is, but. I mean, it'll be Probably. close. It'll be very close, yeah. yeah. Zoodle here now going for Altus as well. He could go for duo trio bosses uh, for Zoodle if he really wants to. Go for a tree sentinel duo. Right. Uh, and then go for some other fights instead. He doesn't have to go to capital. Mm -hmm. If he does go capital, this might actually be a somewhat of a misplay by Zoodle. Uh, if he... I mean, Shackles maybe not necessarily is a misplay. Yeah, um, I think he will. He's scary. planning on it, I think, because of Renal and because of the Shackles. Yeah, he did already pick up the the Margaret Shackle. It's just a little bit scary, I guess, because of how close they both are in that situation then. Instead of having, like, mm -hmm. safer picks of uh, Rune Level 60 and uh, Duo Trio. Nice. That's nice damage on Gold Free there. Yep, should have this after the R1. There we go. Okay. Nice fight here by Aggie going for Morgoth next. Has an extra Talisman pouch now. Nice. I don't... Yeah, Zoodle looks like he'll probably skip Tree Sentinel duo, which I kind of... I don't see why he would do it if he doesn't have any other duo trios. Ah, uh, he does actually. He does have the Crystal duo. Yeah, he's got one, but he still needs mm -hmm. two more. In this case, uh, Aggie, I believe, also has one duo fight, duo trio fight. Oh, it was Aggie at level 59 there. <laughs> What happened? Uh, I, I did miss. Uh, yeah, the, I think he, I think he's fifty nine. <laughs> did he re did he pop the remembrances at all? I thought I haven't I haven't I didn't see him pop Renala or Riker, but I assume he did. I assume he did. Uh, I don't know if he did. I'm sure he just wanted. Yeah, no, he didn't. He just wanted to run over here, I guess, to not have to go back. That Black Knife Assassin is going to be a bit of a pain in his neck. But there is a dash attack that she does do. So if you just, like, stand there and just wait for her to do that dash attack, you can just, uh, yeah, that one, for example. You can just wait for her to do that, and they can just, like, sit down right afterwards. Really interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice RL60 there, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. 11 to 8 now here for Aggie. Going for that Morgoth fight. This is going to be 11 to 9 very soon. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that I think that if Aggie plays well and Zoodle, I think if Zoodle, maybe if he misses up the shackles, I think only then could this be super in Aggie's. Like I think then he could win. It depends on how this fight goes, because I yeah. think depending on how this fight goes for Aggie, he could try and rush shackles right afterwards. But yeah. currently. Zoodle does have a shackle where Aggie doesn't have it, but he's right. got the easy shackle. So, like, it's not going to be too hard for him to grab that. But Zoodle yeah. does have priority on shackles. Zoodle does have priority on, um, I think, Duo Trio as well in this case. So. Uh, he, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess he does have the one. But, um, but like, I really think the damage that Aggie has is, is really important against these, like, yeah. higher level bosses. Okay, not a bad We'll see fight. how this goes for Zoodle. Zoodle, I think he's pretty good at this uh, cheese, right? 
Yeah, he's been practicing it yeah. a lot too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this should be pretty pretty solid cheese mm -hmm. from uh, Zittle here. It is a little annoying. I had a hard time the other day doing it too. But there it is. Very nice parry. Nice. Very nice Beautiful. punch. Beautiful. First try. All right. Yeah, nice for both of them. That Morga was very, very clean, and the DTS, very, very clean. Good job, boys. That is 11 to 9 now. Zoodle now has capital access here, but this is definitely looking a little nerve-wracking because <laughs> Aggie can actually just get this grace and then go straight to that avenue balcony, uh, drop down into sewers, and grab that shackle. Um, but Zoodle, I do think, has a head start. I think Zoodle is going to get shackles yeah. before Aggie does. I think so, too. I think it just depends on how the lobsters treat them. And any just weird RNG or weird luck that might happen. Um, yeah. But I mean, it's very close. Like, what? What is it? What is it? He can't decide on where to go. Oh, I think he's trying to do a duo. Okay, he's not going for shackles. He's giving shackles up. Actually, he's going to go for a duo trio and tree bosses. He's going to go you for know a what? duo. Good call. I think because. Aggie has Morgoth, Zoodle will get Shackles, and Zoodle can't really do Sorcery. He can, but Aggie can do that way faster. Yep. Um, so if Aggie gets Duo Trio... Dude, Aggie is kind of cooking. Oh my god. So if uh, if Aggie actually gets Duo Trio here and the tree bosses, he has priority on Morgoth's Great Rune already. Uh, and then Sorcery only, he has kind of priority on that as well because he still has Godric open. So if yeah, Zoodle goes for Shackles here, which is a bit of a bait... Um, Ooh. then he, like, Aggie could kind of confirm those last four squares for himself. As long as we have enough time, there, there is only 30 or so minutes left. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. We'll see. I, uh, I think he can do it. I think it would be tight, but if nothing goes wrong, I think he can do it. Uh, knock on wood real quick. I don't want it to be my fault if, <laughs> if he dies or something. You know, um, just, it, it sucks to suck sometimes, you know? It does suck to suck sometimes. We all suck to suck sometimes, not just Aggie, okay? No, I, I, <laughs> you know what's going to happen? After this match, his chat is going to go and tell him, Parky said you suck to suck. <laughs> uh, all right, that's guys. Gonna be funny, all right, snitches. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the thing where I, I, I really thought he was going to grab that Grace for Teresa and duel for later, but this is maybe not the worst case. Uh, oh, he's not even going for the Grace. Which I get, because you want to save time, but man, is that a little scary. But he does have a plus nine, so this might not be too bad. And mm -hmm. Zoodle is in sewers right now, going to be going for that uh, last shackle here. This is where it's going to get interesting, because yeah. uh, this, I believe, it is Aggie's first duo boss. This will be Zoodle's second duo boss after he does duos uh, after shackles. Not even sure if he's going to do that. Um, the duo, you mean the tree duo? No, I just Zoodle... Zoodle Ray has one duo. He, he did the Crystallian duo, but he, right, he might right. just do. He can do whatever he wants, I guess. In that case, you know. Yes, I would hope he doesn't do tree duo. I really think tree duo isn't like he doesn't need it. Why would he do that? I think with his damage, it's not worth. Unless uh, maybe he's super good at it. I don't know, but like I would only really contest this square if you have the damage or the health, which I guess Zoodle has the health for it. If you want to be quick about it. Um... Mm. So yeah, Aggie's gonna get this. He's gonna get the tree bosses. That's gonna be his last boss with tree in the name. Yeah, and then, dude, I don't. If this comes down to the sorcery only square, that would be crazy. There is the shackles now. Yeah, and Aggie should be excited that Zoodle got that because that's what he wanted him to do. Um, where to? Where to? Where to? Maggie, yeah, Maggie duo. No, Zoodle. Wait, did he get the shackle? He did. Okay. All right, good, good. No, he got the shackle, yeah. It should Ooh. be good to go. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh my god, did I predict the lobster death? No. <laughs> uh, okay, it looks like Aggie is going to go for Demi-Human Chiefs, potentially. Yeah. Uh, as his yeah. other duo fight. So yeah, that's that his first a duo trio. View there. The sunset on the water. Very nice. No, don't worry, you're not a view in <laughs> No, I am. Sorry. I'm 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 thinking. I'm sorry. I was in the zone there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just uh yo, chat, can we have some life man, uh life emote with uh, man yeah, text after that? Please, chat. Someone's gotta appreciate the sunset. 
Um, so Aggie will go for this. Uh, I don't. He doesn't really have another really fast choice. There's some, like, easy ones, but nothing instant, right? That I can think of. He could do the duo, like. Uh, you can just do Omen twins guys. for Morgat's Great Room. <gasps> oh my God! You're so right, dude. You're actually so right. But then again, do we have time? I don't know if we have time. We have time. We have time for sure, right? I would say so. I don't know, but they're both melting demi human chiefs here. Wow. And then Zoodle needs one more. Dude, I don't know. I, it depends. I guess I think Aggie has time to do it, but I don't know if Aggie has time to do that before Zoodle gets a third one. So, like. I don't know. Yeah, they're both currently on two. He's going oh, for version update to duo here. He's not going for uh, That's twins. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. I think he has the grace. Yeah, I think that he's got it. If he first tries it, knock on wood. I'm so sorry if this is a curse. And uh, Zoodle here going, I believe, for Pumpkinhead duo, which I do think is a good choice as well. Mm, that's a good choice, too. And that's his third one. The only problem is that he has to go all the way around. This whole pit of oh, despair has to, is not the greatest. So he has to go all the way around here, uh, which is really, really annoying. So what happens if Aggie gets this square? What is Zoodle going to say? Zoodle's going to say it's red on time, right? I don't know. I I, I think in that case, he's uh, at a uh, sucks to suck situation. Possibly, yeah, I guess Radon sorcery only is probably the, the only option he really has because he doesn't have priority on Morgoth's Great Rune. He could, however, I guess try and race him to Morgoth's Great Rune because he might think that... Aggie will go for sorcery first because he has priority on the great rune. Yeah. Aggie is playing risky. I don't blame him, but just heal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, the first one, I believe. is. Oh, no, no. Vitality isn't real. Okay, now yeah. it's dead. There we go. Both of them are dead. That is a, the last right. duo, 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 uh, uh, duo trio fight there. Um, wow. Now it depends on what he's picking. Dude, I cannot believe that I, like, what Aggie's play was here this entire game, I would have never thought any of that. Like, that, so, like, dude, let him cook, dude, honestly. Yeah. He has 20 minutes. He just has to go for Morgoth's, he's going for Morgoth's Great Rune now. Yeah. And then he's going to go for Sorcery Only on Godric. The only, here's the only thing. We don't know any of the spells. The spells are right. randomized. What if he gets, right. like... All the worst spells possible at Selen in this case. And then he has to try and do that within 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Well, then it'll tie because Zoodle can't really do it either. Like, if, I mean, if Aggie can't find a spell, odds are Zoodle won't be able to find a spell too, right? We, we, don't, we don't know. That's the fun part, I guess. <laughs> That's the fun part. We, this we'll, is so we'll fun. We'll figure it out when we get there, yeah. Yeah, uh, That's going to be interesting. Wow, I cannot believe this game. This is such a good game, dude. The players are so smart. I am like so impressed. This is yeah, this has definitely been one of those matches where um it just shows if you understand synergies, you can still kind of pull into the yeah. lead. That that whole Limgrave bosses with horse bosses, tree bosses, and uh Ever Jails all working together really helped, I think, Aggie in that case. Cause that's four squares that really worked out for him. Um, all together to where he could yeah. solely build momentum. So Zoodle is getting Radon. Does Zoodle have a sorcery that we're not aware of, maybe? Or is he just prepping it, maybe? I think he's just possibly prepping it in this case, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, this is cool. I will say, I saw someone earlier say that it's over for Aggie. And I'm, you know what? It's not over till it's over, guys. People clown on me for saying that. But, like, whatever the outcome is in this game, like, Aggie was down five squares or so for a while. So, like, it's not over till it's over, Chad. Don't ever forget that. Hmm. 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 <laughs> In this case, yes, it's not over until it's over. There have been some matches where I'm like, ah, whatever. But, yeah, this one, is a, this is a tight one. I don't know what Zoodle is doing. I think he's checking selling here. Sorry, what were you going to say? Uh, like, the reason why you say that is because we have seen some incidents. We've seen Bofa incidents. We've yeah. seen Noble incidents. We've seen Margit incidents. You never know, dude. You yeah. never know. 
The epic highs and lows of bingo brawlers, dude. <laughs> so as, as long as Aggie first tries this, even if... Well, actually, no, Zoodle, Zoodle will win if he got this, if, if Selen's got something good here. Yeah, if he can get Radon, Sorcery only. And this is where it gets really interesting. This is a really good yeah. choice here by Zoodle. Um, yeah. But also really interesting to see if he gets a good spell, he might actually still get Sorcery only on Radon. Yeah, which would be really, really cool and really impressive. Um... This fight is so weird. Uh, no, respects are not allowed. Please read the website, guys. No rebirthing allowed. It says it right in the rules. Okay. No rebirthing even if you just want your own Just things. no rebirthing. Not... Yeah. I just, okay, okay. Just no. Yeah. It's just yeah, completely denied. There's a, there's a website for a reason. Yeah, chat. Yeah. Look Can't at the it. website. Why is? Because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's like that's why my dad always used to say, "Why can't I do that?" Because I said so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, what, what are you gonna I just do? I don't want them to respect. Yeah. That's why. What, what, what are you gonna do? Sue me? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does just make it simpler. It changes like so that you don't have to say this and this and this and this and this. It's just one simple. Just leave it out. Yeah. So what's tops got here? Anything good? Were any of those good? I, I missed the spells because I was arguing with chat. But uh, we have course. Academy Glintstone staff here. That is very useful. But he doesn't have the intelligence for it is the only problem. So he's looking for a staff Aww. right now. The, st the staves are not randomized. He should just go for the uh, the one, uh, the old man that's hanging around near Selen. Just go for that one. Yes, dude. I love that guy. It is so funny. I remember when I was learning uh, the bingo route. I was like, where's the last staff? And Chris was like, oh, there's one. There's some old loser in Limgrave. And every time, every time I think of that quote, mm. <laughs> the poor guy was just hanging out. Yeah. Um. Okay, so Aggie's got, Grimoire got's great rune. But like, so Aggie, like, they're both kind of in the same position. Godric is easier, but like, if a spell is bad, a spell is bad, right? And they have 15 minutes to do so as well. Interesting. Yeah, so if they don't do it, they would just straight up tie. Yep, this is currently 12 to 12. Wow, really interesting game. Coming down to sorcery. Yeah, this, here's the thing. This is exactly what I was talking about. Playing chicken with the center square yeah. of Godric. Of being like, okay, you know what? You get to pick, but then I get to mentally play around having yeah. Godric when you don't have it. Uh... It, it, it was a very, very risky play, though. I do have to, like, I really have to state that it, it was such a risky play for Aggie not to go for it, for him right. being behind by five squares and still being like, you know what, I'm not going for it. Uh, it was yeah. a very, very risky play. Yeah, but really smart move. Like, that was, that's a really, really good move on his part. Yeah. Um, we've seen in the past, bingos, I guess, where, uh, where... Like, you just, you're like, I literally can't do it. Like, I literally cannot fight this boss with a sorcerer only. So leaving Godric open is a really great move for that. Yep. Here we go. We have some, uh, he already has some spells that he's checking. He's got Crystal Release, I believe, is one of them, which is, uh, you know, it's not great. But we get to see Selen here and see what she has to offer, because I did miss that on, on uh, Zoodle's screen here. Do we still have the five staves in Season 2? We do, right? What? Yes. Yes, I, we do. Yeah, we haven't seen that much. No, there's there's a couple squares that we haven't seen very often. Yeah. Here we go. What do we have? What do we have? We have Magic Glint Blade and Fia's Mist. That's not bad. I'm surprised that Zoodle did... Okay, Zoodle does have Fia's Mist or Night Maiden's Mist here. But it's using a staff. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you have Nightmane's Mist, your staff, you don't have to meet the requirements to cast it. Okay. To my understanding. Right? Am I am I wrong, guys? I think I'm right. That's like the weird thing with Fia's, uh, with like uh, with the the Nightmane's Mist, is that you don't have to have the stats to actually cast it. Radon is is a little scary though. Cool. I'm right. We pog. Radon is only weak to gravity um, magic. Is that right? 
Uh, he's weak to like he, he's got a weaker resistance to magic overall, I believe. Okay. Oh, um, he's weak to magic in general, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's like one of his lowest resistances. Okay, so it's not completely hopeless. Eggy does also have this annoying run to Godric. Yep. Um, damn, this is crazy. This is crazy. We'll see how this goes, dude. And so, oh, Zoodle can't summon either. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't even... I've never seen these uh, spells that they're using. I don't even know what to expect. Um, but, you yeah. know, this is a crazy one. If Zoodle gets the square with Radon, that would be really impressive. Zoodle might try and get, I think, Radon stuck on the cliffside so he can just cast what spells on hell? him without him moving. I think is what he's going for. I have never seen this, like... But part of the map during the fight this is uh like kind of like the bow cheese that people have been trying to do on radon if they ever have to do like a bow only um mm -hmm. uh, you can get radon pretty much stuck on the cliffside he just keeps running at you um wow. so you can just like cast stuff at him without him actually retaliating um but it is very weird and janky and the whole just even trying to get, like pull it off is a pain in the ass oh no um, zoodle his face and the other problem is like <laughs> If it happens to where he falls off and gets a gravity kill on Radon, he automatically just loses that because oh, gravity no. kills are not allowed on major bosses. I guess bosses. Zoodle is thinking, like, I just got to be risky and it is what it is. I don't really blame him, honestly, but I don't, this is looking kind of weird. I've never seen this before, but... Yeah, I don't I don't know how this is going to work either. But we'll see. Got... If it works out, it works out, you know? But And, yeah, uh, Aggie currently ready in the Godric uh, room here. Yeah, Zoodle's standing on the cliffside here. Do you want to try and go for F Fia's Mister? The problem is, um, it's. I mean, it's working. It's working, dude. It is working. Yeah. What the hell <laughs> is that? Oh. I, I don't know if this is faster. I can't tell. They're kind of going almost at the same pace. This is so weird. That does. That last one didn't reach though. Okay, he's got to be careful here. Wow. This is extremely interesting. It's like, it's, I don't think, as long as Aggie doesn't do something weird, I don't think it's fast enough. But like, regardless, like, Zoodle is, I am really impressed by this play. Like, it is, it is working. Rodan Phase 2 does not pop in this case because he has to do the slam down first. Wow. To my understanding. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong, actually. Never mind. That is a crazy Rodan cheese. I'm shook. Great cheese, but it does look like that Aggie will be getting this. And yeah, will be right. winning 13 to 12. But, like, shout out to Zoodle for this. That is, like, a really smart decision on this. Yeah. Because I don't think it would have been faster if you just fought him normally. Oh, bye, Radon. <laughs> a little bit of a and space And there it program. is for Aggie. Wow, what a crazy match, dude. And now I believe Radon's like stuck up there now, so now you can just go ahead and what? just keep casting spells. Dude, oh. it's weird. Never mind, so Zoodle screwed it up. Uh, but yeah, I believe like he then like gets, gets stuck up there. But there we go, there we go. That is the match, thirteen to wow. twelve for Aggie. Yeah, I'm I'm at a loss for words. That was such a cool match. That was. Something. I am so impressed by both of them. Neither of them made any misplays really. No one really died that many times. It just came down to the it came down to the source. We predicted it, bro. Dude, we predicted it. Guys, VOD watchers, go back and look. We <laughs> predicted that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. That that was I can't dude. Dude, that was such a cool game. I am so honored to have been there for, to be commentating this match. That was actually, I think, my favorite match of the season. No one got mad. No one did anything like super weird. It was just nice and clean. Just it just worked out in Aggie's favor, and that's just what happened. Yeah. Wow. That was uh, a lot of good calls, though. Too, I have to say, from both, a lot of great yeah. calls. Yeah. All right. Uh, looks like that uh, Aggie is ready. Let me bring him in here real quick. Oh, snap! I clicked on the wrong thing. Welcome in, Aggie. GG's, good sir. GG's. GG's, Aggie. Beautifully played. GG's, thank you, thank you. Hour and 50 minutes, and we're ending at a 13 to 12. How did you feel about the uh, match overall? 
Uh, it got off on the wrong foot, obviously. So yeah, uh, the deck to snipe, I kind of expected because I decided to hedge my bet and get set up for a Knight's Cab cheese at the same time. So that okay. wasn't too bad. But then the Red Wolf threw me off pretty bad because I didn't even think he'd go for it because I assumed he would do like a Raya and Somber 9 play or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I got the shittiest fucking opening from that guy where he did the immediate triple into like off screen into like frame one dive bomb where I couldn't even see mm -hmm. him and he one shot me. And then I'm coming back and I'm going to beat him second try and then Zoodle clicks the square. So that was a tilter for sure. But yeah, after that... Um, I was just going for like synergies and just like I'd knock it out what I could with like all the Limgrave bosses. You could pair it mm -hmm. with the tree bosses and the horse bosses really well. Um, I set up for a few different things. He ended up getting the dagger claw fist square. Yeah. Which actually, that surprised me that he went for it when he did. Cause like I was literally like setting up my claw to go do it right then. But I, I think it actually worked out perfectly because that's the only reason I won. Cause I knew he did it on Godric. So I decided I'm going to do Rykard Renala because it'll get me runes to RL60. And then if I can make it a situation where the only square left is sorcery only, I can do that. Dude, that's what we were saying. We actually, we were kind of like, why would I he not go for the middle square? That's kind of a weird misplay. We should ask him about it in like the interviews. But like, it, it, I don't, I guess it looks like you were, you said you were about to do it, but it looks like you planned it around that sorcery square. Like it looks like you did that on purpose. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't the plan from the start, but yeah, once he clicked it, I, I decided that I'm going to save Godric for it. Dude, and then... really smart play. That was, like, really good. So, uh, we're still kind of curious, I guess, like, why did both of you guys leave that middle square open for, uh, like, an hour and seven minutes, I believe, is what... <laughs> So that was like an insanely long time, you know, it's like, it's, it is a Godric square. I like, honestly, in my mind, it was, it was semi rushable, but both of you kind yeah. of like just played around it. Was it because there were two remembered squares and you just didn't want to necessarily make a choice? Or was it because you just saw something else that maybe made you not go for it right away? Um, yeah. So I, I wanted to go for it a little earlier than I did. I planned on doing Godric as one of my eight Limgrave bosses. And I even like, I got the claw pretty early after I killed Margit. Mm -hmm. But then it just felt like I, I needed to do other things like immediately or, other, or else Zoodle would get it and I wouldn't be able to block his line or something. So it just kept getting pushed down the line. And then, yeah, we both decided to go for it at roughly the same time, about an hour in. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. you guys both like had a, well, I can, we can just talk about this when we bring Zoodle in. Yeah, I was gonna bring him in right now. Yeah, yeah let me yeah. just uh, bring him in real quick. Uh, GG Zoodle, GG's. Hi, Zoodle. Really well played, man. Aggie, we said tie. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> GG's, um, man. GG's. GG's. One, one heck of a match, man. Uh, how did you feel overall about the match? Uh, it was pretty good. I had a lot of fun. It was a really, really nice match. I feel yeah. Like. Yeah. No, you had a really strong early game. You had, uh, you know, I think all the way up until like an hour, hour and a half, you're uh, sitting at 10 to 5. So you had a pretty strong presence on the board. Um, mm -hmm. What was your, like, initial, like, thought process when it came to, like, the board? Because uh, there were some lines that seemed like you were kind of going for them, but then you started kind of changing your mind to going for majority instead. Uh, like, what's the, yeah, what was your thinking Yeah, there? I think... I think I didn't, I kind of saw some lines, but um, he blocked, um, the way he got the squares, I felt like it made no sense for me to pressure more. So I thought I'm just pressuring more with multiple lines in somewhat, in some way, and just go for majority. And um, I feel like overall, the biggest problem I had that is that I just died too often. Mm -hmm. um, like I died twice on Red Wolf, I died twi uh, once on Craft and I forgot the Grace again. Mm -hmm. It took yeah. a lot of time. But I think overall it worked out really well. I think at the at the end with the Diagonal and Morgoth, I just... I just thought... I, I didn't prep much. I just thought even if he goes for Morgoth, I'm probably ahead maybe or even if he goes for that i just go for other uh, squares because i was so ahead with squares that i thought i was mm -hmm. fine yeah but uh yeah Can I go, it, it uh, was close actually i, I mean radan was almost dead with sorcery so dude your radan 
I was like, I mean, we obviously saw that Aggie was more ahead on the sorceries, but like, I was so impressed by your weird cheese thing that you were doing. I was like, bro, like the entire game, just so you guys both know, it was so clean. You both died like, I don't know, three times. Like it wasn't that many times. You guys played so clean. No one really got tilted. You guys were just making good choices all around. Just a really, really impressive game. And uh, it just it just came down to like, Radon is a little bit harder with sorceries and Aggie yeah. just accidentally planned for that really well. <laughs> but like, really, you should be proud of yourself, Zoodle. Like you played really, really well. Um, just like, it was so Thank pleasant you. to watch both of you guys. It was just like, every time someone did something, I was like, why would they do that? And then I was like, oh my God, that's why they're doing that. It's so smart. So just so awesome. <laughs> And uh, on top of that, why the hell was NPC Invaders on the board for an hour and a half? Like, Bro, what was I going on? I thought he would do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to win. Holy fucking snipes, Abe. Holy moly. I'm, like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, when is it happening? When is it happening? And it's like, hour and a half in, it's still there. I'm like, oh my God. What is going like, on? God damn, I thought he's going to block. Like, it was so good for him to block the diagonal with that. And then I was like, why should I go for it? That's wasted if he goes for it. And he's well, not no, going okay, for okay. it. So, so the reason I didn't is because... So you had that and Morgoth to complete the diagonal. And mm -hmm. I assumed you would go for Morgoth. But, like, I also need to go to Morgoth. Because there's Morgoth's Great Rune and Morgoth and mm. Moog Shackle. So, like, mm -hmm. if I go for the NPC and then he gets those three, he's just going to win off majority. So, I, I have to go for the one that has more squares related to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, oh. yeah. Okay. It, it just came down to, like, just unfortunate. I mean, you guys were just both so good. Like, actually, one of the coolest matches. You guys should rewatch it. Really cool. Yeah. Well, it was uh, definitely a, a great match and uh, just great calls overall from, from both of you guys. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, with that being said, that is, uh, I think both of you guys, your last match uh, for uh, a Bingo Season 2. Uh, any closing statements? Uh, you can shout your channel if you like. You can uh, talk about uh, Bingo or what you're doing in the future. Uh, whatever you like. Go for it. Eggy? Sure. Uh, yeah, so just the GGs to everybody. And thanks for putting on the league, Domo. It's been a ton of fun. Obviously, my record didn't quite end up the way I wanted it to, but I'm still really happy, and I think this is like a fantastic note to end on for the season. So, yeah, I'm I'm just happy to be here. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I, I'm <laughs> I'm happy that uh, I was able to um, you know replace the rage critter and was able to the league goes forward. It was really nice. Um, I think. Uh, overall, with me starting in the middle, I did a great job. Guys, are you not entertained? Huh? <laughs> Aki Hanma Bingo Brawlers, almost at the very tippy top with two losers starting yeah. crazy, right? <laughs> now, Dude, it on, is follow crazy. Me, follow me, okay. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, okay, real talk, actually. Yeah, you started with zero losses and you almost made the, the top three. That's like kind of sick, dude. <laughs> two losses. Thank you. It. Who's going to carry the boats, yeah, chat? Play it's going to be... Well, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, gr a great job to both of you guys. It was really, really fun watching both of you uh, throughout this whole season. So I really, really appreciate you taking the time uh, to uh, playing in the matches and you know, it, it, opening up your schedule to uh, Bingo Brawlers uh, as a whole. I just really, really appreciate that and putting on a great show uh, and being you know, great sportsman uh, players. Uh, it, it means a lot to me uh, and that you guys uh, share uh, you know as much enthusiasm about this whole um, league as, as much as I do and, and the commentators do uh, so I just want to uh, you know give a big thank you to that um, but yeah with that being said though guys I hope you have a, a, a good a good rest of your day I'm sorry I've been, I've been struggling today I hope you have a good rest of your day and uh, we'll see you guys potentially next season uh, nudge nudge wink wink Yo, have a great evening, guys. Thanks right. for, for inviting them. Oh, you're great. Ta ta. Mm. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Oh, you great too, by the way. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>